Again, man, it's Fat Nasty Podcast. That's right. I'm one half of the belly game, boys. Let me put my belly on your butt, you heard? <laughs> we tonight, man. You, you do, before you do anything, go like, subscribe, comment, repost, man. All that. Follow these boys, man. All that shit, man. This Fat Nasty Podcast. This is Friday it's night. You be anywhere in the world, but you hear with us. bitch outside, too. Definitely cold. If you got your bitch, snuggle up with her tonight. Yeah, definitely a little cuddle, Steezy. Belly yeah. on her butt. Belly on her butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all already know, man. We like to have fun. Kick a little shit. Shout out yeah. to my boy, um, Russell Wilson. He the GOAT. Russell Wilson? Hell yeah. What was that? That nigga just bought all Sierra Masses. She got one of her own record label. That's hard. Yeah, he did it. Oh, he did it. Yeah. Well, without one, God. That's hard. I don't know, know he did that, that shit. How much he paid for that? I don't know what he paid. But he rich as a bitch, so he he bought the he bought the trip bag of a ball. Oh, that what? was like Christmas gift this year. They just they just put that shit out there. Home when it was all her masters, bro. Mm. So she can have her own record label and shit. That's hard. Oh yeah, that's heavy. I ain't putting your people in position. You gotta give a nigga. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. It's over. Hell yeah, that shit was hard, man. Other than that, man, y'all know all-star Black Love, man. man. We got an all-star crowd. You know what I'm saying? We got one that's back again. You yeah, know what my saying? boy, bro. So y'all know how we do, man. We like to let everybody introduce themselves, man. Let a nigga what, know, let them know what you're doing. You're selling dogs, you're pimping hoes. You fuck with them dogs, though. Yeah. yeah. You got, yeah. Whatever you got going you on, man. Fuck with them dogs. Yeah. Sell yourself, man. This is what, you know what I'm saying? So the world can see you, man. This is nasty, man. We, ain't, we got about 6,000 motherfuckers looking at you right now. So, you know what I'm Probably saying? Probably more than that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm sure. saying? This your boy Blow checking in, man. I've been doing a lot of shit lately. Yeah. Yeah. Playing with dog, music, cars, man. Yeah. Shit, I, I just went and got my CDL. Oh, word. Yeah. 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 Whatever yeah. this yeah. nigga put in mind, so we going to get up and do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Then you just had something happen to one of your whips or some or an accident or some shit. Yeah, yeah. This shit caught on fire. Yeah. Ah, what the fuck happened? Shit, I was in that bitch. Matter of fact, I'm finna take that bitch to the shop the next day, so I ran around getting the old gas out. Got down spinning, went down the road, came in the yard, pulling in, that bitch cut off. Tried to crank that bitch. I see fume, got down, pop the hood, flames everywhere. I can't oh, even shit. save it. Nigga, 20 <laughs> ball gone. <laughs> damn. damn. I don't get nothing from it. 20 That's ball gone. Yeah. Put it in the shop, though? Nothing? Nah, that bitch oh, no, burnt. Nah, that burnt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you ain't gonna yeah. go, oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, like, try to save it? Road, no water, yeah. none of that? You can't Rogue do that without it. I brought some road go, rooting for it. I couldn't even, even put them bitches on it. Damn. Steering wheel burnt up in the car. Damn. See, everything gone. That's all right, man. That would be crazy. I'm glad you hit shit. At least you oh, yeah. got bought that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For real, nigga. You took that bitch to spin and all I, that. I hot that bitch out that bitch so fast, man. <laughs> well, so what kind of dogs you got? You know what I'm talking about? Bullies and French. I got a French. I just bought a French not too long ago. Well, what kind? Got, uh, oh, it's oh, a fluffy? micro micro French. Nah, okay. I, don't, I don't want no flipping carry. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to sell to my kind. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can't sell to all the rich. Shout out to my cousin, man. He be fucking with the dogs. So he be having, yo, he be having, I just was in New York. For a little while, that nigga be having me going crazy with that dog shit because he's like, Rojo, he fluffy, carry. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be a chocolate, you gotta be this. I gotta get in that dog shit. Like I gotta this. get off of him fast, I gotta make him affordable, man. I can't okay. say that. I can't so say that. You gotta micro smart, though. Smart, yeah, I got a, a micro French, but it's not flip, it's not a fluffy carry, so like, you know. Fluffy, fluffy, it, it kind of way, but yeah. uh, Rick for the one getting it. I gotta, yeah. I gotta sell the people. I know I can get them off fast, so I'm gonna sit on them. See, me, I don't know about dog shit. I'm cool with a little fifty dollar <laughs> pit bull I bought that time. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't with all that other shit that got going on with dog shit. I don't, yeah. That's what's up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Nah, trying to um, build a label. Got a little bro, got them working. So I ain't really. I've been doing. I do music, but I've been out the way. We've been putting little bro in position. I told you oh, that man okay, do whatever. Yeah. He, he do oh, this your artist? This your artist? Yeah, we, oh, that's hard. Yeah, right. 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 Little bro. Right. Oh, okay. I've been doing the bro forever. Too. So we like, been shit, Brit Rod Brit. Okay, yeah. that's hard. Right. That's hard. Right. So introduce yeah. yourself, man. Tell me your ID and shit. Oh, my name is JT. Y'all can add me at ABK JT. You know, I got a tape on the way. Hella singers on the way. Visuals on the way. Like we said, we building this shit by ourselves, so. Yeah. We just in it every day yeah. working, trying to do shit. It's like a learning curve. Like, he learning, I'm learning. Yeah. Shinavia learning. Everybody around there learning, because we ain't never did no shit like this. So right. Yeah. Just saying how. Yeah, Shinavia, 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 Shinavia. Shinavia. Oh, yeah, Shinavia. I told her she's a new cute. She's a new P. We gotta, yeah. She, she kind of had that. We got to get on camera next yeah. time. Yeah. 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 She be high. She be high. I know I just made We've been doing this shit forever, and she still be on some. She won't even be like, yo, She be laid back. She don't be on all that. I ain't hear one from my dog in hella long. She hit me like, Rich. I'm like, damn, where the hell you? She like, steady working, though. I be peeping. She like, yo. 
I got that or I want to come. She know that shit ain't nothing. She call yeah. one call away. I'm always fucking with her. Because it's always hard. Well, you start fucking with the music. Shit, I don't know. I used to just be in my room. Like, sport wasn't really it for me. Like, I, I could play football, but it just went no, like, oh, I'm finna go to college, all this shit. <laughs> right, you know, right. I used to be like, I'm going to college for football. Yeah. When I got old, I'm seeing all that work you got to do in school. I'm like, hell no. Like, this shit over I told that, my that, mom, as soon as I graduate, I'm not going to college. I'm sitting in by college. Hey, straight right. I got the high school to yeah, for you. Yeah, over it. That's all I'm doing right here. I'm finna go to the studio. I don't want to do nothing else. Like, That's hard. But real shit, they got that rap shit harder than got that. I try to make it to the NFL. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm this is hard, though. This shit like investment, but you don't want to invest to the that wrong shit. shit. Yeah. You see that shit fall down, you be like, damn, I done put all this money, money in this. That shit. It don't work. That shit. But, yo, that shit real. I ain't gonna like working out, though, for football. I mean, two, three days a day, a week, all that man, shit. Man, we had a count one time. We had to stay at school. That man had us up at 5 o'clock running. Oh, yeah. You that like, shit yeah. over. I'm like, man, I'm really quick. <laughs> I don't want to do this shit no more. It's 5 o'clock, man. Yeah, yeah. that's all right. So, bro, you ain't even fuck with the music. I been doing. I been fake. I still got some shit in the vault. I might drop here and there. Yeah, man. Maybe want me to drop. He got a hard ass song. He just be wanting. I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying to lie shit up. Like, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make more money for I just. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Don't smoke money because this shit take money. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. That's that's you smart money. though. You smart. See, you know I ain't nobody. Take all this money. I started though. That's why I went and got CDL. So I'm trying to start a church coming too. So like, I'm just trying. to. Yeah, put money in. Cause it was, take that so, capital, whatever man, it takes, you got to have some money. Need to go. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, what you were saying now about it? You ain't like, no. I ain't know about all that money that you got to have for music. When I came in, I'm like, shit, I'm finna make this song, drop it tomorrow. And you think it's gonna blow? You think it's gonna blow? I'm like, yeah, I dropped my first song. That shit ain't do nothing. I'm like, man, what the hell going on with this? <laughs> I'm like, I might not be hard enough. Yeah, uh, no, that shit that would take yeah. a lot of investment. And then, in you know, we in that era where everybody think like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. think yeah. like, nigga, I put some shit on YouTube with some shit. See, and it happened for go. some people, though. Yeah, do. But I, don't, I feel yeah. like them be one hit wonder, though. You don't really yeah. never hear about them having no more hard shit after yeah. they do that shit. So. Right. Yeah. I try. Yeah. Then, like, I be telling, like, he think, oh, I need to drop a song today. I need to drop one tomorrow. I need to yeah. drop one the next day. I'm like, bro, you dropping this shit. Same for him. And, like, we got to mm-hmm. get this shit out to more people. See, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I'm impatient. They want to be slow. I want this shit by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wait. Yeah. We got to go get it you know. tomorrow. I can't be like. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah. But then it's good to have somebody who know. Yeah, like, yo, just you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, they be having to out. tell me to chill out. Yeah, if it's me, I'm dropping air or song every <laughs> day. I don't give a damn what it is. What it on, we drop it. Yeah. But, but you definitely got to stay consistent now with mm-hmm. that shit too, because if yeah. you fall off, yeah. like if a nigga do, if you do get a little buzz and niggas be fucking with you, niggas gonna be like. Oh man, we ain't fuck with home no more, man. Home ain't home ain't dropped the album in two weeks. Yeah, in two years. Shit you know over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. If so we get you... to that point, I'm just gonna start. If I ain't, if I see myself losing focus with it, and I ain't consistent. It over. With. The dream gone now. Yeah. Ain't need no point of me keep on doing. No, I'm like, man, I don't really want to do this shit. Yeah. So, nah, but see, not... like, how? So how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. See, but look, oh, see, 19, 19, you still in this shit, so you good. You get what I'm saying? You young. So you, you got, got, you got, you got at least. You got at least. Before a nigga start calling you an old ass rapper, you got at least nigga thirty to ten years to turn thirty. Huh? All thirty, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Gonna... Now, when you get to thirty and your shit ain't pop, like, it's hey, time to find you some no, emotion. No, I can't do that. Look at for long. Because we were just talking about that. It's like, man, when is when is a rapper over? Like, nigga, when you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what age when like niggas just really yeah, not yeah. fucking with you no more? I, I, told them, so bro, I just turned 25. Like, bro, I got five years. I either got to do this or do this. Like, 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 hey, because we definitely, <laughs> me and my cousin just arguing about that shit the other day. This shit definitely a young nigga sport. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, young nigga got to wait right now. You just got to stand out. If you're going to be older, you got to really have a distinct, abstract, hard flow that's just undeniable. Right. Everything got to be with you. And... With that too, you gotta have some money because now you can be in certain spaces. Don't really need nobody else. If yeah, you ain't got right, none of that, yeah, you, you still looking for a shit. deal. Or something. Don't get me yeah, wrong, it's some older niggas that's nice, but this yeah. that shit definitely becoming a young nigga okay, sport. Cause a young yeah. nigga looking at the old folk like man, yeah, that man, old man, ass nigga ain't talking about that. Yeah, yeah, right. I know I got to wrap his ass here. Yeah. I, didn't need, I didn't need one son to get past this ass. He talking about that. Yes, dude. I look at him real, but I look. <laughs> that's the young nigga. Say it again. See, say it again. How you look at it? That shit old. Yeah, I yeah. just need one song to get past you. I ain't got to do too much. This, this one song blow up, I market it right. You done for. I ain't even be like, listen to Earl, old ass. He 30. I don't want to listen to Earl no more, man. We want some young nigga. Earl. Earl. I don't want to listen to Earl no more. Yeah, that's Earl. about the old when nigga names, too. When the Earl, too. Yeah. Got that Earl, Earl 30. Earl talking about that new shit coming out, man. Yeah. 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 Earl, Earl, think, no Earl, Earl talking about drip. You ain't having no more, man. You in the hall with your wife. Earl got 14. He ain't old with you got four on you. Earl talking about speaking the block. Your mind on roll shit, Earl. Earl already got all right in. He's fucking ready to get stuck over
Nah, I'm just fed. But shout out to my old niggas that I do that yeah. shit, though. Shout out to my nigga Earl, man. Yeah, shout out to Willie Earl. Willie Earl. So let me ask y'all, man, uh, Lil Blow, like, who your favorite artist? Like, who your artist's favorite? I say artist. Future, for sure. Uh-huh. Lil Baby. I listen to a lot of art, underground niggas, too, though. Okay. But, like, Future and Lil Baby one of my top two artists. Who's some underground niggas you listen to? Yeah. Shit, like, people that ain't really just blew up, blew up yet. Yeah. Like, I fought Huncho on the ride. Like, that I my fought Huncho. Yeah. Huncho going hard right now. Yeah. 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 I, then my, I got my partner, Lil Crank. I listen to him all the time. He fuck with uh, DJ Holiday. Okay. okay. So, like, them couple uh, uh, underground artists. Yeah, Huncho come. That's, that's our personal. We know yeah, him, like, personally. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's our family. dog, for sure. Yeah, that's all. That's all. What about you, my boy? Who's some of the artists you look up to? Like, Rod Wade. Okay. okay. Basically, him, like, I get a lot of. You know, shit from him. Right Just seeing how he do shit. Like, I watch his whole studio vlog. Go in the studio, think on this nigga. <laughs> that shit be working though. Like what he do. Like, Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Seeing he just taking what he go through and putting it on a song. Here we all go through pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah he make people, a lot of pain music too. Yeah, yeah people show it in different ways. I like putting it on the beat though. Yeah. I can right. say whatever I want to on the song. So. Right. But and then again, I listen to a lot of underground rapper too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Darius Crane. I listen to a lot of local rapper more mm-hmm. than big rapper though. Okay. That okay. shit. You know. That's hard. Yeah, you from out there too? Um, yeah, I'm from, from, I'm from the, the same city. Oh, okay. Where y'all from? Tell them where y'all Green from. Greenville, Georgia. Yeah. Okay. SM 130. SM 130, yeah. Greenville, Georgia. SM 130. That's hard. That's hard. So who's, some, who's there's some rappers down there that y'all fuck with? Uh, Shit, uh, fool. Fool, yeah. He the first per- person to blow yeah, from my city. Mm-hmm. They uh-huh. really rely back on that 30 thing, though. Like, Fool old, but he ain't never quit with that shit. He just kept going. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. That's what I'm saying. He caught that hit. Yeah, he caught that hit and he just. Shout yeah, out to what my he boy. did with my it. My boy from down that way too, my boy Pat. Man, shout out free my boy Petro, man. He from mm-hmm. down that way too. Yeah, he from Athens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Athens. Yeah. 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 yeah, he from Athens. So hell yeah. So that's hard. That's hard. Free Pat and Fool. Yeah, free both of them boys, man. Let them boys out of yeah. jail, man. Oh yeah. For real. But I need to sit in that can. Hell no, nah, you don't want nobody in that shit. Not for no nobody. five years anyway. Yeah, it's, I ain't gonna lie, dude. It feel like it fuck up your motion, bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit feel like like bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Word. One nigga yeah. that I feel like, bro, that was going so hard, and he just went to jail to run time. That nigga pushed Shiesty, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 that boy, that boy. Had sold up. He was gone. Man, he, 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 he had the yeah. niggas wearing the pushed Shiesty. That's what they call that business now, the yeah, pushed Shiesty, man. Shit, they still yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We went to American Data Lab. We had to work in that hat when I'm yeah. like, yo, ass ain't work. Shout out to Pooh Shiesty, man. I just hope, I hope when he come home, niggas still be fucking with him like that, cause home just home had that shit. He had that shit sold up. Oh yeah, yeah, he had that shit sold up, man. So yeah, man, y'all know how we kick it on Fat Nasty, man. I'ma ask you a little blow, man. You got any, are you petty, man? You got any pettiness with you? No, I ain't petty at all. Look, look, that nigga laughed. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> capped it. Oh, man. He capped it. He capped it. He petty. Yeah, yeah, you got petty this with you? Nah, I ain't petty. Man. You ain't petty. <laughs> <laughs> but don't be lying. Yeah, I'm petty about you, this. You know you petty in some type of way. I know Wait. I'm petty. Okay, you petty. What's some petty shit you did lately? I bit like another nigga pit. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even play like that. That bed friend shit uh, out the window. Oh, you don't jack that bed friend shit with you, the home? You, you think of it be like, oh, my bed friend finna go shot with me. Hell no. You can know. If I ain't going, you ain't going. She over with yeah, 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 <laughs> hey, I had to call the customer all the time. Like, hey, bro, you gotta tighten up, man. Hey, man. They ain't finna tell me how to feel about my bitches. Like, no, I love you. Gotta tighten up, man. You gotta tighten up. They be like, bro, you need to tighten up. Y'all need to get the fuck out my bed. I don't give a fuck what I told y'all. I'll go. We back straight now. We back. We finna go out to eat. We ain't doing none of that shit. But bro, hell, man. At least you keep it real with y'all. At least you keep it real with y'all. His own skin. Most niggas would be like, man, I already don't love Sean. All like my friends know it. Uh, he in love. Yeah, man. they know it like that. Like, now nah, when he call and be like, bro's over, I'm like, nah, your ass going straight back, bro. Yeah. yeah. See, that don't see, be hype. Let they post the hype. Let him get that shit off. They like, post to hype me up. Be like, yeah, bro, don't go back. These yeah. niggas be like, you going back? They just make me want to go, go back. back. Go Everybody back. already expecting him. Might as well get what they want here. He was going back, but he made the call, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I already had a pair of girls yeah. play. I just had to send it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to them. I'm going back. I already had the pair of girls tight. I just had to send that motherfucker. That's hard, hey, man. That's hard. Funny. So, man, what, oh, uh, so you, you don't got no pennies in you, bro. Uh, this nigga got my eye uh, on. You got no pennies in you. You ain't got no pennies in you. A little bit. Everybody got a little bit of that shit in them.
other than that, my <laughs> dog ain't going. He said you got some petting. You do got some petting. Uh, okay. I ain't telling him what the petting. It might be about a female. Like he said, it might be about some money or a car. I, I know been, he got some petting. No, I ain't never been petting about no bit. You know that. Everybody done had that day. They been crazy over a female, ain't they? Yeah, yeah, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. I believe that. The, my friend group think they ain't never. They be like, I ain't crazy over no bit. Bro, go on, bro. Like, <laughs> they don't want to be real with it. They want to hide they feeling. Yeah, Lord, it go. Y'all been not saying that body either. That how I look at it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> they were Valentine's Day was this week. Yeah, they the wrong time to be paid. They gonna call yeah. you all type of poor ass. You start <laughs> any argument right now. Hey, right, right now, uh, yeah, Valentine's yeah. Day the worst time to be paid. Yeah, you you gonna get all type of shit. Oh yeah. Hey, I, oh, I see somebody say, oh yeah, what happened to? Uh, uh, I saw all those Christmas pictures. Y'all was all in pajamas. Now it's Valentine's Day. You don't see a nigga with shit like that. They posted none. They need to pay. They need to pay us our hood money. Valentine, it was a lot of dolo pictures, a lot of selfies. That nigga sweat hood money. Yeah, we need our hood money, man. Tear that D on down. Hey man. That shit crazy, man. Oh, with their boyfriend on Valentine, they yeah, need the hair money. Hey, man. hey, boy, I ain't gonna lie. That shit crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They was like, boy, niggas all in Christmas. Niggas had the Christmas family pajamas. Uh, uh, Valentine's Day, you ain't even with your family. No more. Valentine's you know Day, well, wicked. I, ain't, I seen a lot. It was a lot of them posts going on, but a lot of people just showing, like, the women putting their shit. You ain't seen none of them together in this shit. Like, we don't know who bought you that shit. You could have bought it for yourself or your. Females, a lot of that Galentine shit, they were buying each other gifts, so you don't know if it came. What's that? That's a new shit? Galentine? Yeah, yeah I ain't never heard of that. He made one up. That one up. Yeah, that one up. Yeah, that one up. That, 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 that ain't made up. Nobody else heard that? that <laughs> no, drop that one on me. Yeah, yeah everybody I heard that. What the Galentine is? That's, 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 that's what the new girls, shit? They, the guys, like you, you chill, all girls, they, they, like if you single, don't got no Valentine, no nigga, they all celebrate along with each other. Oh, that's new shit. What is Galentine? Bro, that shit, just hashtag Galentine next time you're on Instagram, and watch this probably two million posts up. I ain't oh, never I heard of that shit. Yeah, on God. Yeah, that's we need it, boy. I ain't heard of that one, boy. Not the Galentine, that's yeah. a new one. That's all they I thought my dog made that one up. Like, that's, that's a fat, nasty that's exclusive. No, the Galentine, <laughs> that's what the heavy. They all been doing that shit. All these girls <laughs> be like, they don't need no nigga. They, been, they go um, on their little date night or Valentine night. Whatever, it's just dumb. It might all be girl. ten females, all girls. Only got they just gay shit going on with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they nothing but they looking a little pussy. They just a private. They looking a private shit for them, man. They just trying to cover it up, boy. They go to dinner, do something. That's some exclusive right there. Yeah, Galentine. I need to buy. Hey yo, hey yo. Oh man, we got get some flex bomb or something, man. I'm surprised I ain't heard that. I ain't heard that one. I ain't never heard it. Galentine. That happy Galentine. You want to drop a flex bomb for that one? Yeah, the Galentine day, man. Y'all hit us up. Man, let us know what Galatine was hitting on. Put your uh -huh. shit in the comments or something. Shit, we go, ain't gonna go. be it here. We, yeah. I need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they ain't fuck with no niggas. They <laughs> <laughs> oh, no niggas, 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 niggas gonna, niggas gonna give it, you can't get invited to that? Number females, they gonna be dressed to impress everything. They yeah. all gonna see it. So, just, so you get all Sharing the Sharing gifs, they get each other gifs. Smelling good, nigga can't touch it. Yeah, that's it. I'm with. Oh, nah, they slam each other out. They get they lick his pussy. Yes, yeah. pussy get licked on that night. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I ain't gay tonight, but I'll do it. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm they uh, the bullshit. I was man. drunk. I was drunk. I had too many Taylor ports. <laughs> wow, yeah. Well, they don't blame it on Taylor. I was a, that Taylor ports. You know that Taylor port? What, what you about to say? No. TP. Uh, you with right me. We call it the TP. That shit need. Oh, Stay away. That ain't right. It ain't right. Yeah, it ain't right. Yeah, it ain't right. Yeah, yeah, it ain't right. Yeah, She's talking about, yeah, I had two shots of, yeah, Casamigos. Yeah, all right. That's what you gonna blame it on, huh? Galentine. So that's what that shit called. Yeah, Galentine. I thought you yeah. didn't know about that. Nah, I ain't heard. never heard. Yeah, yeah, I had a Valentine's Day. When I looked, I had one. Hashtag that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she threw a nigga up or not, but I had one. <laughs> you know yeah, hashtag Galentine. I was with Myers all day, so it couldn't be no side nigga day, none of that. I had a Valentine, so <laughs> I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad about it. So let me ask you, man, what's your mental state from a one to ten, man? How you feel? Can't you seven? You said my what now? Your mental state, how you feel, one to ten? I feel good. Like, every day I wake up, like, I pray. Okay. Shit, I got to work that, like, I know, see, I gotta get a bag. I'm trying to figure out the next move. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. Every morning, like, I'm up, I'm up five, six o'clock in the morning sometimes. Like, I ain't getting a lot of sleep. I'm up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm up like an old man, like, up, up, <laughs> late, <laughs> up early in the morning, wow. late night. Hit me, Shanavia. <laughs> <Y 'all laughs> That's real. That's real. Yeah, I mean, early you gotta morning shit, you appreciate the whole day with yeah, the early morning. Oh, yeah. the whole day. I swear you do, bro. That shit real, too. I, I thought that shit was some bullshit, but. 
If you really get up like early in the morning, bro, you really appreciate your whole day because you really yeah, got yeah. the whole day to go get. I that ain't shit. never been the type of person that can sleep all day. Like I can't do it. Right. I can't even take nothing. Only way I take a nap, a nigga got to be sick. Like uh, I got to be down bad. I can't. Like I just I'm can't be one, up. Yeah. You taking one? <laughs> Indeed. That's hard. That's hard. So I only, but we only ask that question though, because we know y'all entrepreneurs. And, you know, we you know y'all do a lot of shit. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? So a lot of people don't call and ask you how you doing. Most niggas just call you like, bro, yeah. what's the next move? What you got? So yeah, we like to ask people that shit. What I about you? What's your mental state, man? From one it rock. It just depends on how the day go. Okay. I try to determine it by the day. You gonna mm-hmm. have problems every day. You just gotta overfight that shit. So that's what I try to do. With it. I don't, I'm gonna try to let it get to me too much. You know? So today, what you on? Yeah, what you on today? Oh, I'm feeling good today. Oh, uh, okay. You know, mm-hmm. I heard but you say the, you got a little, you got a club performance and shit. Tomorrow, I ain't no telling what it might be on. You know? <laughs> I might go in the studio and make number pains on the whole night. It's sure. just, it just really, you yeah, it's just really how I'm feeling that. So time you got a song to think about right now that you just go to. What, like, what's one of your, your you feel like you just, that's that pain for you, like making me go listen to it. Mm-hmm. Yang and Eight Caterpillars and Butterfly. Okay. That one go crazy. Like you just. Cut all the lights and listen to that one. It really a lot of song, but that one just stand out. Right. Yeah. What is it called? Caterpillars and Butterfly. Oh, oh okay. shit. I yeah, they act, that my friend Quay actually put me on it. I ain't I wasn't really messing with it. And we smoked, I heard it. Oh, that's a song you listen to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was saying though, what's the song? What's one of your songs? Yeah. Oh, one of my songs. The nigga had to go listen to your shit to just to tap in to you. It's yeah. an early. I think got a lot of songs. Oh, I feel like, like that. You be going higher like that. Studio yeah, four, four, three to four songs every time in the studio. Like Going crazy, yeah. just trying to, you know. Yeah, bro, to yeah, the most I'm in, the more I'm in the studio, the more I'm gonna be perfect at it. So, right. and then I, like, I used to record in my room. So before I was even going to the studio, it was all in my room. Like, I had to drag that nigga. Yeah, out like they, room. I, they used to be like, we going to the studio. I'd be like, no. I'm going back to the room. Like, yeah, I still on, I still have on music. I used to try to get him go mm-hmm. all the time. Like, bro, flick him. Like, nah, I ain't, I ain't going. Feel, I ain't feel comfortable like going around other people and recording. Mm-hmm. In my room, it just me. And yeah. probably my friends will come over there, but it really just me. Yeah, so right. yeah. I get time. It, I get time to space it out. Like I might say that boy and then go eat some noodle in the studio. I gotta go on set and come on with the next one. Yeah, because yeah, you all the nigga time and the nigga dying. So yeah, you know, so yeah so I know. gotta do. I gotta handle the building when I'm uh-huh. there. But in my room, I really perfected my like, not perfected my sound, but I didn't came up with my sound. Yeah. Right. So going yeah. to the studio and making song, as I got older, it just became easy. Yeah, like you when I was sixteen, they be too? like, "We going to the studio." I be like, "Oh no, we ain't." That's why, that's why I say, "That's why I know." He, that's why I say he hard. Like yeah, he ain't never corn himself, yeah. fixing shit. Like he ain't no, no, no that, watching yeah. no YouTube and then like yeah, just, just figuring shit, shit out. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like trial and error on the yeah. computer, mic. Yeah, that's hard. That's how you learn. Like, like, just going through that shit. It's crazy because like, one nigga I seen like that, and right now that nigga probably one of the biggest artists in California. This nigga named Kaylin, too for real. I remember the first time we ever went to Rolling Loud. Like everybody wanted to just kick it. We was having fun. Home was in the closet, recording with us, just going hard. Like I feel yeah. like you can get some good vibes. Out yeah, there. and that shit. And now just, you look at him right now. That nigga going so hard. That nigga just did a tour with YG. Yeah, that shit be crazy. You know where well, a person come from and how big they didn't got. For real, I'm talking about within a year he did that shit. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Seeing that man, he did it within a year. That nigga signing the Rock Nation, doing he on tour, doing. But he stuck to what he was doing. You know I just saying? remember like how you how you just said about him. Yeah. We was like that nigga. We down in Miami. I'm talking about we in Miami kicking in mansion. Yeah, chilling. And home is upstairs in the closet. Like far away from everybody. He just recording and shit. Just yeah, I'd be stupid. like, I might get out of work late night one night. He'd be in there recording. Like, yeah. bro, you pulling up night. Yeah. 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 That's all that's hard. Yeah. You believe in your shit though. That's definitely that's work yeah. ethic. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't got a lot of niggas wanna make it and see they say like, damn, I want this, I want this. But they ain't putting in that work to get there. They just feel like, okay, I just did a song. All right, this shit hard. But even if you make a hard song, it seems like shit. You going in there to make five more. Like, yeah, this yeah. hard, but it's not about to make some more right behind this motherfucker. You know and what I'm saying? You see that how I was thinking? Like, when I made, I don't forgot what time period it was, but I had made some songs. And I'm like, they probably the hardest song going to get. Mm-hmm. I used to limit myself. Like, right, I know I can't go harder than this or shit. Just let's see what these going to do. Mm-hmm. Like, then I'd be like, I don't want to drop my song because I want to keep it. I'd be like, what did this shit don't work? Then that's a waste of time. Me just dropping song, dropping song, mm-hmm. nobody catching on. But mm-hmm. now I'm just going to drop it. If it work, it work. You're going to keep yeah. it. And that's how I feel about it now. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you got a passion for it. It's like you mm-hmm. ain't even really thinking about the work. You you doing something you love to do. So as long as you're doing that, it's going to work out. Hell yeah, yeah. Regardless of what mm-hmm. a motherfucker think, the more that what you, if you truly love it and this is what you want to do, I don't give a how long it takes, it going to pop. Go, oh, go yeah, yeah. As long as you keep that mindset you got right now, you working behind it, 
Oh, don't even worry, bro. You're going to win regardless. I can feel that already. I'm telling you this. Hell, first, I know you got your team to tell you, but this one's my, I don't even know you. But you're hearing that. That shit is no way you could lose. With that energy you got, it's no way. I feel like you, when I put it in my head and bring everything together, I'm going to be a bad motherfucker. Yeah, there's gonna. no way you could lose, bro. And you comfortable with what you, how you feel. Like, you don't care. Niggas tell you that shit. That shit. Niggas don't got that shit. You feel me? Right. Like, and I, I ain't certain, used to could take criticism at first. Yeah. Like, my friend would be like, that shit so I'm like, bro, yo ass ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but he the one that told me every time. He'd be like, bro, that shit ass. That shit ass. That shit, <laughs> yeah, ass. That's real. All my yeah. other friend, they be like, boy, that, you yeah. got one. Yeah. <laughs> and they're listening back. I'm like, why y'all lie like that? Like, this nigga was telling me this shit so. Yeah. They probably was saying this up, but they were just boosting my confidence with it. Yeah. Right, that's some yes man type shit. So when some people, when, when people start finding me like, oh, nah, I ain't really fucking with this one. That shit used to get me mad. I'm like, y'all need hang like hell. Like, this shit hard to hell. How you don't fuck with it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah well, but you, you gotta, uh, let me tell you, you got to remember this too, man. I say this to say, like, everything you drop ain't going to be the one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't for everybody. Yeah. That's too. Everybody ain't for, you know what I'm saying? That, so, like. It's your craft, so you know what I'm saying? You got somebody believing in your shit. Long as that nigga see that, I always say this, like long as a nigga see that you got a work effort, he gonna always keep putting into you. Right. Once you start slacking and give up, like, you know what I'm saying, start lagging, get, nigga gonna be like, man, I ain't fuck with Lil' Home no more. Yeah, he don't got the passion for it no more. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? So the illest shit I always tell you, like, you like my, you remind me one of my homeboys, shout out to my nigga Dre, like, to really? believe in a nigga and what another nigga can do, and you putting your money behind it, your shit, like you said, nigga, I don't go to sleep, I'm getting up and getting it. It take a real nigga to do that shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It take a real nigga to do that. And like, to not be feeling the way about it. Like, right, you know what I'm saying? Because you like, home going, home working. I see him working, nigga be in his room, all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the moment you feel like, damn, home, I feel like home cheating me, you know what I'm saying? Then that's when you got to look yourself in the mirror and be like, damn, I ain't really giving that shit like I used to give it. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep the, you know what I'm saying? And always be a man to go to that nigga and be like, home, yeah. oh, I ain't feeling this shit no more. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Be like that. You know, I might call him one night. Like, yeah. I might you call him one night. We go in it all the time. I ain't messing with this. That's just a little bit of game, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just be like, nigga, go to your dog. Yeah, hey, man, money. I ain't in the space no more to do this shit, bro. Y'all yeah, yeah. nigga push me. Shanae, you want me to go here. I ain't really with this shit. I'm done with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Then you could be like, well, I'm gonna figure something else out, let's do something else. Yeah. New shit ain't for you, but I, I, at least you let me know I can take my money out of it. I ain't gotta keep yeah. investing in, into a dead ass horse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause a nigga a dead ass horse, what they gonna do? They gonna kill him if he can't race no more. Yeah. They gonna knock his ass off. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I always tell niggas that, like, bro, when you got a friendship, man, try to keep that shit open. That's the one thing me and this nigga got. Yeah, he know solid. if I got some shit going on and I can't be in this motherfucker, it's a reason. Yeah. I don't call him, hey, cuz, but it's, I ain't gonna make it, bro. Mm -hmm. shit, I got some other shit going on, but I got a whole family, all that shit, bro. Cause that's how I be. I'm up all the time thinking about how to make some shit shake, what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause nigga, I just feel like nigga, we supposed to be in a higher, we supposed to be somewhere higher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. The day I, my uh, my mental state was dope. I was listening to the old Jeezy. I was listening to all the old <laughs> shit. I was, I was vibing today. You know what I'm saying? What you listen to? I listen. I just I, I made up this. I made up this track. This a whole like minute ago. It's just all Jeezy. And okay. I put that shit on Shuffle. And that nigga, just, I was just remember, I like, damn, Jeezy got some shit, boy. Yeah. I was just listening to some shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It had me Jeezy got that grind shit, that shit. Yeah, put make, you you wanna, make you want to go make get it. Make you want to get some money. Yeah, yeah. Sure. you know what I'm saying? So, Jeezy definitely you listen to that today nigga. Today I was like, well, I ain't going to lie. Today I was like on a nine, though. It was just good, man. Good feeling. You know That's what I'm saying? I was chilling. You know what I'm saying? My uh, my daughter went to keep it with my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? She did school with him today, so that was dope. You Who know that? what I'm saying? So. Oh, um, Cho, yeah, Nandy oh, Cho, 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 you know Cho, what I'm saying? Cho, 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 Cho,
Yeah, yeah, like, I told her, I'm like, I don't try, I don't try it before, but like, no, I'm on a whole nother, like, yeah. my mindset you just got different. Vision, like, yeah, ton of vision. You got your mind set yeah. on what you want to do. That's a part of sacrificing, knowing what you want to do. If you know the end goal and know what you got to do, then shit, they what I'm on just for this time. It ain't like I ain't going to celebrate when I get there, but yeah. right now, I'm strictly on my shit. And niggas gonna appreciate that. Now, like, yeah. see, I can't even, you know, I can't, I can't even fumble it. I, 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 I just love Claire today. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. What about you, my boy? How you meant to I'm say a, um, I'm a solid eight, like eight, eight, five, mm-hmm. eight, eight, five. I was, my shit was a little shaky, but it just like, bro, I'm more and more every day. I'm just coming into, you can only control what you can control, bro. I try to trying to be Superman and hold all the shit down and make sure. That shit over with. That shit really for the birds, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't in a position to do it, like, it's cool to try to and fuck with what you can and make sure people are high and feeling good. Cause I like people to be in good space. I like to be in good energy. I just like the people around to be like that and who I'm fucking with. But it's like, sometimes you overbear yourself trying to do that and yeah. you find yourself going crazy. Like, man, what the like, fuck? Like, hell no, nah, this shit getting wicked. Like, you can't make yourself. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's somebody, like trying to. Yeah, so it'd be like, bro, I gotta just balance my shit out and really. Put myself just in a space where it's like, shit, Richie come first. You feel me? Like, I'm really on my keep my shit right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If a motherfucker ain't pouring into me or on positive energy, that shit over with. Anybody I feel like that was a big thing on that? I had to learn in life too. Yeah, that shit around. Go ahead. Like, I can't take everybody up problem with my problem. Shit, yeah. I just gotta focus on my shit. Like, yeah. Y'all problem matter, but shit, I matter more. Yeah. I can't be helping you and you ain't helping me. So. Right, right, right. And it's hard when you a given person or a loving, like yeah, you're genuine. Yeah, hard trying wanna, to. Like, Cause you don't want to tell yeah. nobody. You might tell them not today. They might take it the wrong way. Yeah. You don't know whole time. I got a lot on my mind too. Yeah. Shit, I'm trying to get me straight before I help you. But right. you there's some people out here that's selfish and they ain't gonna respect it. Yeah. They think they probably well, a lot of people selfish. Boy, I get about eighty to ninety percent of motherfuckers selfish. You feel me? It's only select few people. Cause especially a good person, any good-hearted person, it's hard to really be selfish. Yeah, you. In times you do have to be, but it's very hard to just cross that line and be like, no. Like yeah. you want to make sure motherfuckers are hype. Right. Like it ain't near me, cause you know it's yourself. I know I'm a person. I'm gonna go make sure my if shit fucked up. Nigga may not know it's fucked up. I'm gonna go make it do what it do. So when I see other people who might not have that drive or who can't do what I know I can do with myself, all right, let me just try. I might take what I know I had to go take care of and do something mm-hmm. to look out and hold you down, and then be like, damn. Mom, I bet now I'm scrambling trying to figure it out, but I ain't even telling you. I'm just, you think everything always so good. And that's why people come to a nigga, because they look at it like, man, rich shit always good. He ain't never complain, he ain't never down. He ain't never complain about shit, nigga. He ain't never say everything. But don't be knowing, shit be real life going on. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. Shit, be, nigga yeah. might have a thousand problems like, in your own head. God, you so it be like, shit. damn. And it's like, I'm getting to a point where you're like, man, nigga can't keep doing that, because it's not like a nigga gonna crash out. But a nigga, if your nigga, your mental won't be right. You feel me? You be moving. And if you don't got no clear mind and you move how a nigga be moving, that shit could be jeopardizing to what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might make one false move or you may be moving crazy, not thinking fully how you would be in a clear mind. Mm-hmm. And that little, one, it only take one moment and it'd be like, damn, I what the hell? Me. I want on my shit. So it's like, I can't be moving like that. And I'm older now too. I got a daughter. It's like, nigga can't be playing around with this shit outside, man. So it's like focusing on me. And the people around who own the same type of time. If you ain't on that, then that shit, it is what it is now with me. Like, fuck, you'll get over it. You know, I ain't no yeah, fuck. Yeah, you just gonna man. be mad, whatever. You're you gonna come fuck with me, because shit, it is what it is. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. hard. That's real shit. So I got, we got this shit called the icebreaker, man. I gotta ask you. Icebreaker, icebreaker. You. What's your definition of a lame ass nigga? Ooh, of a lame. Let me see that <laughs> deli. There's some deli on still over there. Uh, a nigga who always talking about money. He always talk about how much money he got when he argue with somebody. Bro, nobody give a fuck about it. No type of money you got, you still ain't. You do corn by all that shit, bro. Right. I don't want to hear about, oh, I got 10 bands. Okay. You right. got 10 bands and ain't got shit to show for. <laughs> right. That shit don't be making sense. Man. So a nigga that always talking about his money to you? Yeah. You be arguing with the nigga. He be like, oh, I got 10 bands. Okay. I ain't broke either. <laughs> hey, you talking about? Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm having my own motion too. You got your money, I got mine. Right. right. What's about you, man? What's your definition of a lame ass nigga? See, a nigga that, I get when you, when you talk about the team or something, they always got one over you. Like, you know, you know, they always Ooh. that nigga like, mm, like I just bought the car. I just bought the car. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they trying to always up yeah. one yeah. on you. That's they trying to steal your shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trying to steal your shine. That's like, nigga don't know how to. Nigga they don't have a nigga that be pocket watching. Yeah, they they see what you got going on. And, and don't no try to nigga get away from you around you. Any nigga who trying to go big on you. Like you say you don't did something, the nigga like, oh, I sh- oh, I would have went and got this. 
Yeah. Or oh, nigga, oh yeah, that shit happened. I would have did it like. Yeah, this. I would have like, did it like yeah, this. That shit, man, that's yeah. super. Yeah, that's definitely like niggas. Gotta I ain't gonna lie, my, defi- my definition of a lame ass nigga, a nigga not being themselves. Mm-hmm. A nigga trying to play a, a nigga trying to put a costume on to be a nut, something that he ain't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And that shit can go however you want to take. Cause nigga, a nigga get a car and turn into a lame ass nigga. Nigga get a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. But that's, I feel like that's all costumes of a nigga that's not really you, home. Huh? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you trying to portray something that you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like you said. Well, you got ten thousand, but you know I have ten thousand quicker, ten thousand to go. Mm. They go fuck ten thousand up right now. So I said why twenty? I said why twenty burn up in my face? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so God. like then, like you said, a nigga always trying to up you. Yeah. I ain't even his character. He in the costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I always feel like a lame ass nigga is a nigga that put on a costume trying to be mm-hmm. something that he ain't. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like nigga, you know, like come on, bro. Like you want some lame shit? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't you. Like especially when a nigga know you. Yeah. Like, boy, I ain't really you, bro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they get around some bitch, yeah. they finna cut up then, boy. Oh, they gonna be the main pulling reason. Pulling out, pull, pulling out, pulling out the 10,000 to buy the napkins. Yeah. Or, <laughs> nigga, you know Waffle House. What the hell you doing? If it's five of us, if we go on Waffle House, Waffle House ain't call us no, no, no 3,000. So why you put a 3,000 out of the Waffle House? They start getting on the edge. You got to pony walk around with cash. Well, I just swipe my card. Yeah, they ain't see, got time. Man, I can't even walk around with no card. I got Apple Pay. I done lost all my cards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cash oh, yeah, or card. Yeah, for real. What about you, bro? What's your definition of a uh, Y'all all pretty much hit on everything. But I'm big on the um, the trying to put on, like, you can't be yourself. That's one of the biggest, like, right. ain't comfortable in your own skin. Is some of the biggest lame shit in the world. Cause one thing you a, a nigga should understand you with real people like you don't got it you could literally be somebody who don't get into certain shit that i get into or do what everybody do but you comfortable with who you are that's the coolest shit i know what i'm dealing with like oh, a, yeah. every nigga want to know who he dealing with like mm-hmm. regardless of what you're into it's something we could chop it up and build that's cool like i don't you don't got to be on the same type of time yeah, I'm on. everybody like say for instance like everybody ain't no shooter yeah. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't trap. Somebody yeah. gotta work. Like you gotta be real with yourself. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that position, as long as you know you can play your position to a T. Oh, you're the best. Yeah. Like I understand it, cause I don't never got a second guess. I ain't gotta worry about this or be thinking about it. if you want. Like that shit, you're solid. That's considered solid right. to me. So yeah, that shit, like yo, putting on lame, like trying to do too much, not being comfortable in your skin, and that trying to hold not y'all all hit it on yeah. on the head with that. I shit. like that one, nigga trying to up you all the yeah. time. Yeah, cause like, I seen the post like that. that nigga said, bro, when you got niggas like this around you. He like, bro, you go buy a house, you tell your partner like, yo, I just bought this new house, man, five bedroom, motherfucker. He like that nigga like, damn, that's hard. Like, bro, you just got the five bedroom. He like, bro, I would've got the eight bedroom yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he like, damn, that I would've got the eight bedroom motherfucker. Sip. He like, damn, word, yeah. He like, well, shit, I just bought the new. That new BIM over that G63 big body. He's like, yeah, that hard as hell, but bro, I just got that G83 motherfucker. He's like, bro, I didn't even know it's the 83. He's like, yeah, that's that new motherfucker. He like, bro. Nigga, I feel you. Yeah, he's he's like, bro, why you keep trying to just go big on me by my accomplishment? He's like, them type of nigga, for one, that's lame, man. Them niggas, you don't need I feel like a nigga like that, see, why? He's like, yeah, it's so much money. Yeah, yeah it's like, I ain't in competition with you. If you my partner, you know. Yeah, like, I ain't com- yeah. competing with we you. Like, why we both shit. ain't got to be like, you right. did. They're like, yeah. your time's going to come, bro. Exactly. I'm going to be telling bro, like, shit, you, you blow first, yeah. That was up. See, yeah. I blow first. We still, either way. Yeah, he blow. I might run out. You might just go up. Like, you never know. Happy for it, nigga, bro. Hey, man, the real shit. Y'all niggas go watch this, man. That nigga, Fat Joe said the real shit. He said, I know how to be number two sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and a lot of men, black men, don't know how to be number two to a nigga. Yeah. He said, "Bro, too much pride." I you. know that I'm rich. I am rich. I know how to get money. Yeah. But when I'm with my brother DJ Khaled, he is richer than me. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold the door. I'm gonna yeah. do shit that you know what I'm saying. Cause some niggas don't. Some niggas like cause we grew up in that mentality that you always supposed to be winning, but everybody can't be a leader. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. niggas gotta follow some niggas sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like nigga, it's a nigga. We team, nigga. So I know sometimes, nigga, I got to let this nigga, he got to hold the weight. Because yeah. I need you to put something in play for us, nigga, so we can make some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nigga, sometimes I'm going to put something in play for us to hold the money. But that's, nigga, there's nothing wrong with being number yeah. two, nigga, as long as I can give and feed my family. But we we'll, we get into that that mentality like, oh, no, nah, bro, I got to I got to outdo this nigga. Like you said, pocket watch. Or, yeah. or I got to outdo this nigga. Or it's the crab in the bucket mentality. And that yeah. shit fuck us up so bad, bro. So when you get a solid group of niggas that want to see each other win, a nigga don't care about grabbing the bags at night, cause you know, nigga, like you said, nigga, you he might be the man the next time. Yeah. yeah. So you might have to grab his shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's just like, man, we got to get off that shit, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be the top dog. Like, it's just, ain't no way, bro. Right. No you know way. what I'm saying? Like, nigga, 
Be it's the top all, like, dog nigga, in your position. It's crazy, bro. Like, if y'all look at it, bro, like, growing up, bro, we thought Neptune was just for real. Not knowing there was a nigga in the background helping for real out. You know what I'm saying? And really, this nigga put a lot of their business deals and a lot of shit. He worked a you lot of You get what I'm shit. saying? So, yeah, like, yeah. it's a nigga always who you don't see that be yeah. making shit shape, yeah, yeah, yeah. putting the strings and shit. And yeah. he don't want to. He don't yeah. want the line like yeah. he just want to get the money. He don't want to be like there right here with yeah. the mic in front of him. Yeah, he don't, he don't do want it. to. He like fuck it, bro. Because niggas be want to live regular lives. Because yeah, when right. you become, once you step in front of that camera and you big, oh life ain't regular no more. Everywhere no, you go, shit, niggas. Is, so niggas be want to be and still you. have the money and be a now I could go in any store. And nigga don't know me. I could like go I'm wherever bad, I go. Yeah, yeah bad, I, right? I could go <laughs> chill and do whatever I want, live a normal yeah. life how I want to with my kids and everything, and still got it. It's like. That mm -hmm. shit is cool. That's the best feeling. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We had a conversation about that like one time on this. Like, what, what you rather have? The money or the fame? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, going with the money. Yeah, the fame man. gonna come with it, though. You might not even want it. In some cases, it gonna come with it. It really just depends on what you do. Like you said, yeah. you could be the nigga behind the scene. You got all the money, but you don't really show your face. Mm -hmm. But in some spot, like, like you gonna be in it. You can't right. dodge it. Can't dodge that yeah, shit. Yeah, you can't dodge if it. If you that nigga shit. and that shit on you, you gonna be yeah, on you, but. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, nigga be in this shit for a nigga to be able to provide for their families. I don't give a That's fuck about the fame. Really yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that shit, bro. I wanna be able to be like, like he said, nigga, I know we good, nigga. I know we can take vacations. I know, you know what I'm saying? Do. It be a lot of nigga that got fame, be broke your head. Like, say it again. Especially with the rap game. See, I just found out you can buy blue man, chick this shit. Go, get, go look at Chad Johnson interview he had with um, Shannon Sharp. That nigga said, boy, when your name become bigger than how much money you got, oh, you fucked up. Yeah, he he, said, you know what I'm saying? Nigga he, said, boy, my first, he like, nigga, I took my fiance to McDonald's the first day, you know what I'm saying? I nigga said, I be wearing, I nigga said, I bought a Mary sweatshirt, so I went that bitch the whole vacation. <laughs> I feel like female make a nigga act like he got more money, because if you take a bit to McDonald's, she gonna be like, oh, he broke. You all over Facebook, group chats and all. Right. So some female definitely make a nigga act like right. he got I, more than what he got. You know what, that's the whole time shit. A nigga was with his girl for her birthday. And she was mad at the nigga because he ain't pay for all the girls that was at the table dinner. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, see, ain't that ain't right. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't like, fucking all that at the end of the night. First my dog, it was like, he, you know what I'm saying? It was her birthday. She's like, you about to pay for everybody dinner. He like, hell nah, bitch, it was your birthday. They probably I'm already had a you, expensive you know? restaurant type. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, you trying to trick me out my money. Home with yeah. me. Like, with a, he had a priority. Like, yeah. shit, it's your birthday. I'm going to look out for you. She like, no, you supposed to pay for the whole dinner yeah, party. Yeah, oh, I'm like, got to have every last one of them on pay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got so, to. What about you? Money or the fame? I got to have the bread. Right. I ain't standing no fame. I don't give a fuck about. I don't like shit. Rap shit like being in the camera. I ain't never been no camera person. Me yeah. starting the rap put me in front of the camera. I just I always was a hustler though. Yeah. Like, I yeah. won't get some money regardless. Yeah. Right. Just rap shit made me get Stop more comfortable up. around camera. Like, okay. If it went for that, like. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be on this shit today. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. I still ain't really comfortable with some of this shit, though. Yeah. Some shit be happening fast with their route shit. Yeah. Performing. You still yeah, kind of shy? Yeah, man. I probably won't even hold a mic to my mouth. That motherfucker gonna be behind my back. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm performing like this. Mike all up here. Yeah, we took uh, New Music Monday. Yeah, yeah, new Music yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, nigga, nigga, nigga. Oh, y'all got a steak on you? Yeah, nigga, nigga got them. He 19, huh? I'm saying, What's 18, up, y'all? 18. 18. I'm like, bro, bro I, I forgot everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, where, I, where I'm from, we don't really have a lot of clubs. So performing there and there, you getting a little it's mic. Your homeboys and shit. Yeah, you getting a mic, it probably not connected to nothing down here. So you don't got to hold a mic like that. The crowd, the city already small, so they already know my music down there. The crowd going to hype me up to make it think I'm doing a good job. I got in front of them folks, they said, I ain't going to lie, your performance suck. <laughs> I couldn't even argue with them, like, yeah. I don't really know how to perform because I'm kind of new to this shit. Still, right, so. Yeah. so that's so that's, so that's I feel like some stuff you need to work, work on. Yeah. Then, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Definitely. and now she don't take nothing. Yeah, get in the room and just start. You know what I'm saying? Working on your craft because it's yeah. your craft. Nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody. Yeah, that's the one. Somebody like, all the uh, <laughs> podcast gonna say, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "Hey, no." Like I ain't never just got in my room and did. I feel I got to though. To get yeah. where I want to go. Cause, yeah, because yeah. you don't want to go back to them two thirty to five o'clock workouts. Do you? Yeah, nah. <laughs> And yeah. just fucking around and performing shit like that, like Newman, you never know who in that crowd watching. You feel yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it be a lot of DJs. Yeah, well, I told I got, I got that nigga prep time. Hey, man, we coming back from Atlanta. here, bro. Ain't no telling who gonna be in here, bro. Yeah, you got to pop your shit in here. I'm yeah, telling you, I'm, I'm, before he get to my, I said, bro, pop your shit in here. <laughs> 
He got it from them food like shit, bro. Oh, Fuck that shit. <laughs> it be hard though when you get up there in them lights, you look like, like you said, damn. In his city, when he perform, yeah, everybody see, know we ain't got yeah. we ain't got no club no more. No club. See, it different. It different. Like the back in the day, like it used to be lit around that bitch. They was shut down every club around that bitch. Like damn. so, you got seven minutes like. Community like normal show. rapper, when they in their city, they get to pop their shit. They blow up because mm. they whole city in the club every night. They record this shit. They can see this shit. shit yeah, right here, degree, we got to build this shit from a different platform because mm. no we can't we can't show now. what's going on in our city because we ain't got nothing to show. Like, oh, okay. so we in different we places. Like, different where the hell y'all city? gotta go? Like, yo, like Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Like, that's so, a then, you know that shit. That's the closest place. That's kind of nigga. That's a, it, it ain't the, it, it ain't the closest, ain't, but like, like the music scene ain't yeah, ain't big. Nowhere, like, but in that small county popping up, but like for it is this the next thing for us to really try to and it hard here because. You gonna run to some cow folk. Yeah. You might spend some money at a uh, at an event like they get you at the script club. They, you already know they just trying to get you here so you can spend money on the script. Yeah, but they really ain't thinking about the you. Time. Don't give a fuck about yeah. your son. Right. Like we we you got we from the country, so we yeah. peeping game. Like you know what I'm saying. We learning, find learning yeah, game. Yeah, like yeah, peeping game. Which I learned DJs on those too, though. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, get with them DJs. You show love them DJ. They gonna show See, love. See, that what I been on. I'm like, hey, bro, listen. You drop your tape. We got to connect with the DJ. Yeah, if we don't connect with the DJ, it ain't going to be nothing. You go send them there, they, they going to fuck with you because they look and for that's why, and that's why like we that. here like us. Like, bro, yeah. we got all type of stuff. Whenever y'all need shit like that, man, we got the promotional shit lined up. Like, niggas, yeah. billboards. Motherfucker, yeah. like we know we got a whole package. We need to go jump out the porch with Dirty Glove Bass, and we can put you in tune. We ain't gonna yeah, pay the whole thing for that. A whole media run. Oh, what media else? run. We media got all that shit. shit. That's for any artist. Like that's what y'all need. That yeah. shit. So I need to know the platform. Niggas, about oh yeah, that's a little, yeah. little blowing. I feel up. like you up. need a lot of more exposure coming from Green Bread. Okay, like he said, ain't really nothing there now. Everybody, yeah. your cousin there now. Yeah. So you might know people. It's some people out of surrounding county that done blow it up, but in Green Bread, it's like only fool. Ain't a lot so of you like, trying to do what he do. But it might not work. His plan might not be how your shit gonna work out. Right, huh? So it really just different stroke for different folk then. Yeah. Like. His shit, like, they, they fought with him, though. Like, yeah. man, we went to a cameraman spoke when we came with us to a yard party. Yeah, they had that shit, like, a neck counter over. over. Yeah. Right. That bitch was wall. That bitch outside. That yeah, bitch, outside. That bitch swamp. That shit was swamp. Like, right. we performing on a trailer, like a, like a, a trailer, crazy. car trailer. Yeah. It was, it was like an 18 wheeler turn yeah, or some shit. Man, trailer. that bitch was so packed. Like, they saying shit word for word, girl going crazy. See, that's like, bro got the way, but yeah. it just, it just, green, it's bro. still like, trying to, I'm trying like, to it's hard it to get. Here, yeah, so. so look, and then when you do that, like how we just, we got them packed, you go, you invest and do shit like that. I'm saying, we going to send you to the packed all type of shit. And you'll so. do shit like that. And now when they see like, hold on. They might not, you might not, your name might not be just buzzing here in Atlanta, but you got to think, well, they, they see you, you posting, you literally got billboards, or you got this in Atlanta, or you did Dirty Glove, Fat Nasty, Progress Report, you done did all that, they like, oh, hold on. Yeah, hold you on. Know, yeah. yeah. Fuck it with it, and they like, oh, and that's your building, now you got the people in the city, too, tapping in with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, even with us, like, a lot of motherfuckers fuck with us, and we tap in with, regardless of the views and the, the, the people, we tap in with the whole Atlanta, like, for yeah. real, for real, you feel me? So, that shit ain't nothing but a call, like, hey. Boom, yeah, boom, they yeah. trying to, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it ain't gonna like, be the, it ain't gonna be what they telling you at first. It's yeah. gonna be one of our, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But exactly. I, I like to see a nigga win. Y'all yeah, niggas humble, sure. bro. I feel you like. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what this shit supposed to be about anyway. Yeah. All this podcast shit, this shit supposed to be working, networking, helping a nigga build a brand to some other shit. Because mm -hmm. y'all helping us. Y'all going back to Green Bird, nigga, like, damn, bro, I done seen a couple niggas that been on, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. gonna make them nigga wanna do pop fat and they like, hold on, man, these niggas on blow out, we done see him on him. And now, bro, just came and did it, man. What the hell? That, that, oh, we, they tapping in us, so y'all helping us as right. well. Sure. One fuck's gonna be tapping like, damn, man, we need to da da da. I know that come from y'all. You feel me? Yeah. We ain't got no ties out there for real. Right. Yeah. So it's like that shit. One hand wash the other. You feel right, me? Right, right, right. Both on wash the face and shit. Not everybody eat. You everybody feel me? eating. Cause that's what that shit supposed to be about anyway, yeah. bro. Yeah. You ain't supposed to be just coming to this motherfucker and be like, oh, nah, I fuck them for nah. Get something out this shit. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Cause uh, nigga, the, niggas ain't doing this shit for free. Nigga doing this shit to nigga better themselves and like you said, nigga, you sitting over there, nigga. Every time you say your CDLs, you happy, nigga. That's an oh, accomplishment, yeah. nigga. Yeah. I, I ain't you know never went to I, I, I knew I wasn't going to college. Like, they were out the, that's all the question yeah. right you know there. Like I just knew I had to get a career behind my belt. Cause like I said, rap shit. See, I'm 25, 30. I'm looking at 30. All right, I you gotta come up with something else. Like yeah. this some shit I can fall back on. All right. Mm -hmm. I still I told little bro like I'm gonna do whatever. Yeah, damn, support what we got going on, but yeah. You just keep working, shit. We gonna figure some shit, shit out. Yeah, that's yeah. real shit. Yeah, like, how can a nigga be mad about that? Yeah, they can't be mad. Yeah. They can't be mad they about like, that. A nigga see,
Just don't let that nigga be seeing that shit more than what you see. It. Like you said, yeah. I'm gonna go in his room and go mm -hmm. and record some shit and drop four, five songs in the room and come out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see the passion in this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it took one of my niggas, shout out to my nigga, oh, he was like, bro, I had to step away from y'all niggas to see if y'all niggas had the passion for this shit. Mm -hmm. To see if y'all niggas really wanted this podcast shit or if y'all niggas was, yeah, doing oh, shit. you know what I'm saying, yeah. just doing this shit for fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to step away and see if y'all niggas really see it. Now I look at y'all niggas, y'all ain't bullshit. Y'all really want this shit. Yeah. But it take for a nigga because you be in your feelings, you like, man, why the fuck? And then a nigga be like, nah, nigga, I had to see if y'all niggas wanted this shit because at one point in time, I wanted this shit more than y'all wanted it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that be some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And this so, shit something. crazy how all this shit got started, though. Like he was cool with my brother. I always knew him, but we went how we was now. Right. Like him and my brother real close, so they went to school together. Then I started rapping. Then I think you started. Like yeah, I started. Now. I started. I ain't rapping. I've been rapping like three years, like trying yeah. to just like right. three years. Then we just clicked up with it. Then we just built this shit brick by brick. Like in my hometown, people might come up at me for pictures. Mm -hmm. Like that how much we done built it up in the city or surrounding county, like Madison, Crawfordville, J different cities and shit just built it up every day uh, working and then like, the abk brand yeah, like the ABK this shit brand. different like this shit bigger than what it it not just like we got dog dog car car like we got racing truck. and everything like oh, abk big real, truck huh? like, yeah, that's, that's hard that's fire that's hard though that's dope that's dope so that's man dope. let me ask y'all a question man because you know we always be like you know what i'm saying a lot of young niggas don't have no like who one of your big homies like who's somebody that you like you can listen to or somebody give you some game or some shit blow my brother Rye, Quay, just like people I'm around every day. Right, 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 right. A lot of niggas can tell me how to do stuff, but if you, like, you ain't never did it, so how you just gonna tell me to go jump out there and be a crab dummy? Right. That's how I look at most A lot of niggas in GC be capping. Like, right. They gonna tell you some shit. They be like, oh, yeah, we gonna do this, and then the shit don't help. Like, blow the only nigga from Green Brother that actually just, we just been making shit work. Yeah. He said he gonna do something, he gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I done had a lot of little people in Green Bay be like, oh, yeah, come be with us. This shit don't work. Like, y'all in the same spot I'm at. Y'all ain't trying to get from down yeah. here. Y'all just making music with them making. Like, we right. on the mission. We ain't got time for that playing shit. So, we gonna go get it every time we can. Right. That's real. What about you, my boy? Will? Yeah, my daddy, shit, I can call that nigga anytime. That's like, real. he gonna give me the game. Like, my daddy. Big, like, bro, got, right? That's why you little bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, he tell me some shit. Like, you, got, you know, you gotta find out shit for yourself, but. At the same time, yeah, like any call, like anything I need, like any kind of fixes on the car, anything, like he don't been through the shit in life, he gonna tell you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I talk to the nigga almost every day, like right. yeah, he gonna give yeah. me the game. That's real shit. That's real shit. Nah, only why I ask that because you know a lot of niggas, they be like, we ain't got nobody to look up to. I mean, we ain't had no nigga telling us what to do, so we ain't really had no big home. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Like growing up, like it was my uncles and shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They was always flyer niggas, niggas that was doing some shit. They was always niggas that could tell me when I was wrong and when I was right, you know what I'm saying? To this day, like, I tell a nigga, then my, my pops, like you said, nigga, me and my daddy ain't never had an argument. We ain't never had a disagreement. We ain't never had no, like, nah, nigga, fuck you, nigga, nah, fuck yeah. you, nah, none of that. That's, yeah. my, that's, my, that's my nigga. Like, so when he said some shit, it always was like either some real shit or a humbling experience, like, nigga, chill the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas can't say that, you know what I'm saying? So that's why... You know, we in this era where niggas don't got nobody they respect. They respect a nigga with money more than they respect a nigga. Get, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he, like we said about the money thing, Jake, he got money, don't make you real. Like, right. It could be a lane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So but he, the money going to come. There's so many ways to get money. Nigga, right. have some money. That money you know what I'm saying? Shit. And that shit can go. Nigga, money go. I, I just heard it. the real shit er earlier today. I'm sitting there just riding. Nigga said, yeah. He said, a rich motherfucker, I mean, a poor motherfucker is poor because. It don't matter what class you're in, what you think, but a poor motherfucking mindset is, nigga, I'm gonna go to work just to pay my bills. That's a poor sure. mindset. He ain't mm -hmm. think about no other way that he could do nothing. All he need to do, he he in. I gotta pay my when I get this check, I'm gonna work this job and I'm gonna pay these bills. It ain't cause he poor, cause he living under a bridge, or nothing. That's just his mindset. A rich motherfucker thinking like, man, you know what? I got this money, man. Fuck paying who I'm gonna pay. I'm about to try to flip this shit and put it in shit in an investment and do something else with it. Like how you said, I'm going to get my CDLs, I'm going to do some other shit. Because you trying to be on a whole nother, you know what I'm saying, status. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm too ill, shit. I ain't scared to take no losses. Like, shit, that the whole thing about it. You scared to take it. Yeah, you, ain't, you ain't going nowhere. Nigga, life. Ain't nobody nigga. Escape, then, escaping no L's. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who you is. Every nigga, like I told a nigga the other day, shit. nigga, I was sitting there like, damn, life be moving your ass. But nigga, you got to fight life back, nigga. You get what I'm saying, yeah. nigga? You can't, if you're going to sit on the, because ain't nobody as a man, when you become, 
When you hit a certain point and you feel like you a man, you let your nuts hang, nigga, ain't, nigga, ain't nothing you can do. Ain't nobody you can call sometimes. Ain't nobody you got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through all them sources. And if you a nigga that done burnt your bridges with niggas, you fucked up. Yeah, so I like was some, some roads you gotta take by yourself or some shit too though. Yeah, you can't have all your friends yeah. on some shit. We, oh man, that's a, man. You man, you better learn that. In that shit gonna teach you how to fight. A lot man. of niggas, you gonna man, you gonna cut a lot of niggas off. Cause guess what? He just said the real shit. A lot of niggas gonna get jealous of that shit, and you gonna be like, bro, I ain't gonna remember some Jordans, some regular jeans, and a shirt. Yeah. That's the way you popping your shit. It's making him feel uncomfortable because he yeah. being a lame ass nigga. Yeah, right. I, I, just talk about. I be putting him on. I be like, bro, you can go put on the simple shit. You pop that shit. Mm-hmm. That right. design shit don't mean nothing. Nothing. Right. That shit don't mean. Nigga, like, look at little home popping this shit. What a nigga gonna be in the background? Man, fuck that nigga. I remember that nigga was at school, dirty as a motherfucker. Yeah, but look at him now. He popping this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You the dirty yeah. nigga. He yeah. vibing. Yeah. You the dirty yeah. nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I be the lame ass shit. You feel me? So I always like to ask young niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? That they got somebody they, like they can listen to, talk to. You know what I'm saying? Because we all we all figuring this shit out on the go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We learning this shit as like you said, we, like the real shit you said. We learning this shit. All three of us, we learning this shit, but y'all doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the real shit, man. What about you with the OG shit? Who you got? My oh yeah, my uncles. For mm-hmm. sure. That's all really. My uncle and my mama. Shout out to my mama. My mama, one of the most solid individuals I ever. For her to have four boys and handle shit and for all of us to come out. How we did, and she got a daughter now for sure. But all of us to be solid individuals, like from just a single household, you know what I'm saying? Until yeah, she's married now, but it was like a lot of times we grew up. If I, I could go to her about whatever, and then my uncles for sure always just showing me shit she couldn't show me. It was like them with the people around me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But other than that, and then experience, just niggas around. It wasn't never really just a OG homie type shit. It was more niggas from around. I was always a nigga who could move off my own mindset, like. Mm-hmm. I was never no under pressure nigga and doing shit cause nigga said this was, cause I got questions. I asked like, okay, y'all know what, what, what the fuck come with this? Or why are you doing like, I ain't never just going for just cause a nigga said something. Like, Hell nah, that was just me. I don't know about nobody else, but it's like, why is like, what, what, why is this supposed to go like that? Or what, what, what made this happen? Or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I ain't never know why they just doing cause it looked like this what happened. Cause I feel like even with like, um, a nigga's timeline of how to, uh, success or whatever happened. A nigga could sit here and give you his whole blueprint of what he did, right? Mm-hmm. And tell you play by play what he did to make it. I don't give a fuck if you fuck that. Wasn't your, that wasn't your guy. That wasn't that your, your blueprint. Yeah, you don't to do that. Right. Nigga give you that. Yeah, you could take pieces from it and apply it to certain shit. But what you, what my lane is my lane. How I'm going to do this shit. How I'm going to do this shit. Because, like, regardless of what you tell me, I don't give a fuck. I'm still not. It's going to be certain shit in there to be like, boy, I ain't feeling that. <laughs> but if I follow your shit and do it, now nah, you was probably per- someone who was cool with the doing that. Right. Like, I, I can't do that. I gotta, I could take pieces from people's shit for right. sure. Niggas who drop jewels, I could take it in and still at the end of the day have my own opinion on what I feel about it. But I got to move how I move. That's how I feel comfortable in myself. I got to do what I do. Right. Regardless if I lose or not. And one thing I like, you're going to take losses. You're going to take losses every day, and if not every day, but through every obstacle you go through in life. Right. And my nigga, mm-hmm. as long as you get up in the morning, you winning, bro. Mm-hmm. The biggest loss you take, and when it's <laughs> over with, when you check out and you can't do nothing on that's the yeah. loss. Right. Like, damn, I can't, as long as you can wake up and still go back to go get a, go mm-hmm. some money. Yeah. Bro, you winning, bro, that shit ain't over with. Yeah, if you know yeah. how to get some money, man, fuck it. Yeah. Like, we, I just lost a 20. Man, fuck, we about to go make a 40. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I just, yeah. like, I, uh, I told her, I, I, I bought a dog, I bought one on a bullet like two, uh, last year or two years ago, had that bit three weeks, three rat, bit died. Mm. I tell him, bro, I like shit, bro. I got another opportunity to get another dog, shit. They bit more, they bit more but shit, it get everything go right. I'm gonna make a 30 ball out of bit fast, shit. Fuck, I'm finna try. I'm gonna take a lot head. Yeah. yeah I took one head. You ain't, if you gonna be scared to take the other, another another goddamn risk and in the same shit, then yeah, you ain't yeah. gonna never win. Exactly. You gotta take a risk. Yeah. Just go yeah. sign yeah. up to go work that regular shit. all the risk. Do. Yeah, we ain't day. got nobody like, bro. It's a, it's so crazy because nigga was just talking about that, like the, like what's more, which one more risky, your business or the streets? They both risk. Same. Yeah. yeah. Cause get what a nigga can walk up to you with some paper, and you and you just like, damn, bro, this nigga just gave me fifty thousand. I'm ready to sign this shit. I'm gone. But nigga, and that shit, nigga, you might want well to sign all your shit away, and you don't even know it. But you just seen the, the fifty. 50. I, you should be sure to just went to work. Most people who rock get happy. <laughs> 
like with money. <laughs> you know what like, I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. When I started, you you give me ten bands, you probably got me. Mm-hmm. All my rights, masters, all that. Jack of ten bands. I ain't never seen no ten band that I just gotta sign a deal for and I can get it. Right. Yeah. So money definitely will make a nigga happy in this mm-hmm. shit. So. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, you know what I'm saying? so on the street shit. shit. A nigga, uh, you taking a risk every day because you just risking, you risking this shit. You like yeah. shit. I gotta figure it out. Yeah. And anything go wrong, and that risk can fuck you up. But it's like it's the same way because it's like sometimes business be more the business side be more risky than the street. That shit be grimy. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like nigga walk up to you and see something, and be like shit, boy. I got a hundred thousand, but he know he can make five hundred thousand. My fuck you. Why not put the risk in and take? You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Every day gonna be a risk, a loss, and you know what I'm saying? It's just how you handle that shit. Like mm-hmm. you said, how you get up from that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that shit just be, be in a different. Yeah, been a di- it definitely being a different mindset. You know what I'm saying? So, man, what's some shit you want out this rap shit, man? Like, what do you want? What you I want just out? wanna take care of my mama. Mm-hmm. Just everybody who done helped me. Like, y'all helping me now, so I wanna give back to y'all when I make it. Like, right. Heard you, respect. I don't me. give a fuck if I don't be famous, none of that. As long as I'm in a position to take care of my people, I'm straight with you that. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. What about you, bro? What's going on? Same shit. Want to see all my people scrape. See everybody happy. Like, say, like me and bro got the music shit going on. Got damn my little brother. See, like I used to tell my little brother, I don't go and try it. Now I see him. Like, okay, he trying it now. So he yeah. see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, just basically seeing everybody happy. Like, okay, right. we help. I help y'all with music shit. Now let's switch over to something. Else. Let me see. I right, let me do the dog shit. Let me see where my partner want to go up with this shit. Like. Right. It's just building something bigger so everybody can Nothing eat. Everybody like, can everybody eat, somebody fall off, somebody they can, they can pick you back up. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. That's real shit. That's real shit. That's all right. Hell yeah. yeah. Niggas don't think like that, y'all. Like, nah, this a hey, niggas be like, man, this shit for self. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's why I ain't never really go up with music when I was younger. Because I always used to, I ain't want it bad enough. Like, I wanted the wrong shit out of it. I wanted, like, the whole car, jewelry. Like, him. I told him, plenty, like, but let me, let me get a chain. Well, go buy me a chain. He be like, that shit gonna come, bro. Just work on it. Right. Yeah. So now just seeing me working on it, I feel like I definitely want some way different from when I started out of. So, yeah. I told you, you'll feel better. You you go cash out on this shit yourself. Like, shit, I don't need yeah. no nigga give me no chain. Like, this shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, gay? Right. It feel better when you can buy some shit yourself yeah. and then somebody getting it to you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because you right. feel like I work for, I earned this. Now yeah, yeah. niggas can't take. That's why nigga ain't going about nigga touching this chain. Yeah. Versus if, a nigga, if niggas got chains, niggas don't give it to them. Nigga ain't even really mad about nigga snap, but a nigga who went and bought this and paid no, yeah, that this shit is a trophy on my tip. Yeah. Bitch, you not doing nothing to this mm-hmm. motherfucker, boy. Yeah, it's really? gone. You play with this one. I don't give a fuck if it's a motherfucking, uh, the littlest chain in the world, bitch. I went and bought this bitch. This yeah. is mine. Bitch, you not taking nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? But like he said, when you go and earn your own shit, it's a different feeling behind certain shit that you do. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. shit that's given to you. It ain't a lot of, re- like, yeah, you could be appreciative of certain shit. But it ain't it ain't respected the same when you went and did it yourself, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. earned it and you did that like damn, like granted a nigga may put you in position, but when you put the work behind it to get what's come with it, it's a different feeling. And you ain't letting nobody play you or play with your name or disrespect you on anything that you don't earn and got for yourself. Cause like y'all understand it, like we sit here, we talking. We all like from the same type of shit. Like we from we from New York, but we from we from Rochester, New York. Uh-huh. So it's like Niggas like, oh, y'all niggas ain't from the city, so y'all niggas ain't really got no emotion. Yeah. Y'all niggas ain't really doing shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, mm-hmm. when you when I go back home, just the brand we don't build with Fat Nasty, niggas fucking with our brand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause we stand by it. You know what I'm saying? But like, nigga, we some niggas from the city. Probably we probably already been we'd have been lit, but we, we ain't from yeah. the city. We yeah. from yeah. upstate New York. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he like make it fun. If yeah. y'all was from the A, y'all probably be like, nigga, everybody know about the nigga the A B K. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nigga, we have emotion, nigga. Cause I, I see them niggas, they, they moving around. Duh, duh, duh. Like, if we were some niggas that had some niggas from the city, like, oh yeah, them are niggas and they stamped it, it'll be different. But we from upstate, so this shit, uh, it's a different grind. But we respect them more, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it feel, it feel way better. Yeah. I don't yeah. remember, I don't, like, nigga, some, like, nigga, we were just talking about that shit the other day. Nigga, Jay Z, Biggie Smalls, Bust Around, all them niggas went to the, the same, same high school. school. Yeah. Nigga, you got yeah. crazy yeah, that Atlanta beat. shit be. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how Atlanta shit be. We're like, like my little kids, they was school, like, man. nigga, they was going to school with Schoolie and them. Like when I was working, yeah. when I was running the boys and girls club, it was niggas going to school with Schoolie and like all Rich them niggas, kids, like yeah. or nigga could bump into a little baby, cause little baby from their hood, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Y'all don't got that, shit, you know what I'm saying? We ain't had that bit. I don't. Yeah. Know. 
So the opportunities is different. I don't right know no nigga in Rochester with no pod, like got a big podcast. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if I was living in the city. You probably know 10,000 people. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like I'm, like, shit, I'm the first nigga that we, me and my, I feel like me and my cousin, we take all the risk, everything, because we like the first niggas from where we from to take the hits and yeah. everything. So that's why I always tell a nigga, like, a nigga from my city called me, he trying to do this same shit I'm doing. I'm going to give him the game. A lot of niggas ain't gonna give a nigga the game though. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna Especially give it to when them. they doing something, you doing a lot of niggas be like, nah, that's just but more see, that's competition. You know that we was talking to shout out to my nigga Bank. A lot of niggas don't want to see niggas win. Yeah, shout oh, yeah. out to Bank, man. Bank, Bank said the really. Me, we was talking to Bank the other day, sitting on my porch. Yeah. He like, bro. That was last yeah. night. We talking to that nigga. Don't think this shit. Don't think everybody ain't going through the same shit. Yeah. Cause get what? Niggas don't want to see a nigga win. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. These niggas be running. It be some, it be some be lame scared. ass shit. Y'all would never know. You'd be like, damn. Just think about it. Y'all the next niggas that's big down there, bro. Y'all think, y'all think niggas ain't, y'all don't think y'all niggas names niggas talk about scared, in rooms bro. that. Oh, yeah, I already know. I know nigga talk. I don't be stunning shit. Yeah, shit. Know what I'm y'all names in rooms and all yeah. that shit. Nigga probably hating on this nigga we talk to. Hey, bro. That, hey, bro. That nigga think they doing better than what we, you know what I'm saying? That nigga think they, that's, yeah, they is. Because y'all talk about them niggas. They ain't even think about what y'all got going on. Yeah, right. We just, that shit. Oh, we tell the brother, like, all, all, I do is, all I do, I'm the biggest, like, I'm the biggest. I like to see a nigga win. Yeah. Every nigga I fuck with, I watch all that shit, all that. Because I'm a, I'll am be, I'll be with that. Even my homeboys, shout out to my niggas. They got their Drive for Fire podcast. They killing, they doing they look. Yeah. I'll listen to that shit. They're my homeboys. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get them niggas a spin. Them my niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause nigga, I remember when we first started this bitch, we didn't have nobody fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we was sitting in my apartment four, five hours out of the day, nigga, and not getting nothing. You feel me? So like, mm-hmm. like nigga, so I was like, yeah, we from the same, we definitely from the same spot, y'all. We got we from a little city too. We from Rochester, y'all niggas from so niggas ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? So y'all come up out that shit, nigga be like, damn, boy, them niggas. That shit gonna feel real good. That bro. shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, nigga, we went around the corner to some, to, had that bitch rocking, you know what I'm saying? So now y'all just, y'all just building y'all brand to get bigger, mm-hmm. bigger, and bigger. And niggas gonna have to respect it. If they don't, yeah. get the fuck out the way, because we running through that shit. We coming yeah. through. There's a lot of niggas that probably don't respect this shit, JK. Well, they respect it. They just don't like what's yeah, going on. Like, right. like that. Like, they don't I got, like I got, I got a couple partner, like, Ain't on, ain't in the street now. They sit figure, they sit figure nigga, and they younger. They like a year younger than me. Right. So like they give me motivation. Like, okay, like bro, okay, you, I can do this too. Like you ain't yeah. always just gotta do the hot head shit, yeah. me in the street shit to make no money. You feel me? Yeah. Right. That hard as fuck for real. Yeah, but look, look, look how you said that, bro. You know how much courage it take for it, bro. That's why all the OG niggas be getting shitted on because they don't know how to pay homage to a young nigga that's doing it. Yeah. I'll take some advice from a young nigga, cause guess what? He gonna be like, "Hey, bitch, I see y'all got y'all shit going on, but bro, try to, you know what I'm saying? Carry to, you know what I'm saying? You got to respect yeah. that. Yeah. Like, especially a young nigga with some money. If it's a young six figure nigga, man, how I can't listen to? Cause niggas ain't good getting six figures yeah, put nigga. out. Nigga ain't gonna grab that shit out no tree. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nigga, what the fuck you did to get motherfucking you a million dollar nigga? Your mind is right somewhere. Right. Yeah. You doing something right to get this money? Yeah. yeah. Like, so okay, why? So why can't you take on? a little advice from you? <coughs> oh, cause you it go, <coughs> it's the ego shit. You know, nigga gonna say you dick rhyme, you do this, you, you all on, bro, dick whole time, bro, just getting you the game. Bro, bro getting the game, he the young nigga, so fuck it. Any nigga feel like Most they can't Most I ain't, I ain't calling nigga my big homie and no shit yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, and, you know bro. what I'm saying? But, nigga, but we partner, we, we together, partner, so we he win, 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 like, we still the same shit. He just gave me a little bit more motivation to get on my shit. Ain't anybody who got the biggest, you know what I'm saying? But that's what we, as like as our culture, we get lost, bro. You know what I'm saying? We get lost in that shit. And niggas be hating to say it, bro, but like we live in this shit with niggas think they don't start trouble, they start all the trouble in the world. Like, bro, to me, bro, the shade room, the biggest, they the biggest stars, they start the oh, most yeah. shit. Yeah. To a nigga, yeah, they ass drill. Academic been doing yeah. a lot of that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, he bro, definitely had that shit yeah. weird. He yeah, that that shit weird, that weird that bro. Shit that shit weird, bro. Like, they taking small situations and blowing that shit up. They don't need to be that bitch. Look at what, when a nigga get their ass drilled, a nigga get their ass killed, you what a nigga gonna say? Everybody yeah. gonna fall back and, be, and uh, all you gonna see is R.I.P. I wish you. No, nah, nigga, stop playing with this shit. Cause there's some niggas out here that really don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Yeah. And you playing with it and all that, man. Stop playing with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I say that shit all the time, bro. Stop starting shit, bro. Sometimes you ain't got to put shit up all the time that controversial, bro. But guess what? That's what they do because they don't give a fuck. They want you to crash out. Yeah, they want you to do that. They want you to crash and out, the thing bro. Is too with it too, cause a nigga might not even. You know what it is too. It might be a part of that. Cause it might not even that they wanted to crash out, but they know what the world's so into. 
niggas just more on they been like, but I know I put this up, this bitch gonna get a million views yeah, yeah. or a million likes just because it's controversy. Yeah, but they ain't even thinking about the what's in it. They just more like, but I know I get this, I got this check coming. Nigga, bro, because they don't care about. The what if when a nigga die, though? Yeah, no, it'd be she fucked don't up. Fuck, don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about that. They like, yeah. still even get paid yeah, off. Yeah, that's what yeah. they on. They no on respect. Some, and that shit, yeah, wow. Fuck. It's you know fucked up. Y'all started to, like, oh, yeah, he said this, he said that. Not knowing what type of time a nigga be on, bro. Yeah. A nigga be on demon time, bro. Like, bro, I just seen some shit happen in the city where me and my man was talking about, like, oh, yeah, but he been around their family the whole time. Nigga, you don't know what this nigga going through. Nigga probably just said he probably wasn't even mad at home but for real. You just made the shit bigger. He than made what the it shit is. bigger than what it was. He he set the shit off. So now that's what I'm on. I'm on demon time. I was on demon time that day when I woke up this morning. I was on I was having a bad day. A little blow said some shit to me that just triggered me talking about he about to get everybody changed. Man, fuck little blow. <laughs> <laughs> he only know he set me off. Then he go get everybody changed. That shit might have rubbed me the wrong way. Now nah, he he go get everybody changed. He ain't get me one, man. man fuck, bro. I'm taking this nigga off. Damn, why he do little blow? Cause, bro, he was already on demon time when he woke up. Yeah. We just ain't know. We was just doing little that shit. shit up. Set his shit off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Female do a lot of that shit too, though. They are definitely. I feel like when female get mad and they get petty, then niggas start to die. Cause female might be pet off some little shit. This nigga might take it serious than what she think he finna take. He go kill his ass. Now you seen that you mad and upset cause he died over you. This shit be weird though. And then guess what the guess what the yeah. conversation gonna be? Oh man, it wasn't even about no bitch. Yeah, they gonna be like, situation what was it about? Big. The situation went you know big enough for that shit to happen, but you know what I'm saying? What was it about? Because yeah. as a man, I, I tell niggas all the time. As a man, nigga can say anything they want to say about me. Nigga probably gonna say, oh fuck home, home this and that, home weak, da da da. But as a man, you you get away with all that shit. But once you come into my comfort zone. Or try to put your hands on me or some shit. Then we go into a whole nother situation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at the end of the day, it's a situation that you put yourself in. You get what I'm saying? Because, like, at the end of the day, like, niggas let, niggas let words bounce off. Yeah. And if you respond to that shit, then you giving a nigga, you giving a nigga some what's now. You giving some ammunition. Bro, yeah. know how that shit be. Bro. I be telling, get what I be telling. Nigga be trying to dig. Get what I be telling. Mm -hmm. Like, them folks ain't even. Making hoes. They ain't even bigger than you, bro. You should, they know they they see you doing something right. I, I, I can't entertain argue it. Like, but y'all trying man. to get my attention. Right. I can make all them posts. That shit over with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that's the one thing I hate about. Cause like nigga be like, oh nigga, I ain't on this. Like bro, all this shit like a social media game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I nigga making a hundred posts still. You this and he said nothing. You, you tell me so I can't. You gotta be doing something right. Yeah. My whole your whole shit made with me. That's why you mad, low key. That shit be. Yeah. And then all that shit turned to was a bad night. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody gonna either. It's gonna go one way or another. Because guess what? Once you disrespect, <laughs> once you disrespect the man, like we all men now. You for what you you a nineteen year old man, bro. So certain shit you ain't going for. Certain like me and you probably can have words and all that. But when I disrespect your comfort zone, son, that's, like, that's I'm, I'm making you react. I'm, I'm I'm pushing your button. Now when I push your button, I don't know what could come after me pushing your button. I don't know if you are gonna swing on me. You don't have a nigga drill my shit or whatever see, we going. See, but that, I'm pushing your butt. <laughs> you see, now it's a whole different area. Like yeah. the fighting out of the way, you know niggas trying yeah, to drill us. Yeah, yeah, you know that. That's what a nigga want. You already got it. That's what I'm saying. So, like, so on the shade room, I put some shit up, and you keep talking about a nigga, blah, 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 blah. but a nigga really on the drill type of time. Shade room ain't thinking about the nigga that about the drill. You ain't thinking about a culture like, bro. I was talking to my little cousin the other day, like, nigga, do y'all know Cheeky changed the world, bro? He made that shit cool. Yeah. Nigga, niggas don't even give that nigga that much. Nigga, Cheeky changed the world. Yeah, he made it cool to the drill. Them niggas, Chicago niggas, bro, not to say nothing, bro. Bro, give Chicago credit, bro. They made niggas change. They the reason why niggas call niggas ops. Oh, yeah. They the reason why niggas say smoking on a nigga in a pack. Oh, yeah. They the reason why they talking about a nigga about the drills and shit. Nigga, they changed the world, <laughs> nigga. You get what I'm saying? They the reason why these little niggas walk around with the, like, on... Yeah. Demon time. Every young nigga that coming out right now, that's what they gonna rap about. They try to drill a nigga like oh God. two thousand baby. It they, might not they, even they be them, but they just know what folk want to hear. Like with Shanae, we were tone when we was in Atlanta. I'm like people, you might not even be there. You rap about some killing shit, and they catch the right person. Here. They gonna play that shit out. Everybody gonna get on it now. So they hand you rap about this shit. That what they want. So when you switch it up, and actually be you. That shit ain't gonna go nowhere. They be like, this nigga making love or something the whole time. That really you. They killing <laughs> shit. You ain't never kill nobody. <laughs> right. See, ninety percent of the rappers doing actually what they rapping about. Now, like the yeah. game didn't know back then. A lot of rappers you can be, you can have a side. Like you can 
Say you rapping about this, but you really ain't nothing. Yeah, like none of this shit. Like, like nigga, really, want, nigga, a really, a lot of niggas want to smoke. And yeah. Everybody want to prove because the way yeah. the internet works. If you get any type of state of nigga, oh, you ain't like that. They blast it. It could be over. So niggas trying to be on everything they rapping on. And it's like, just like, just like, uh, just like uh, how like nigga might be hard to hell. You see they snitching now. Oh, your career over with. Like yeah. right. anything get out about you snitching. Real real over. It's over. It's over. That shit and guess what? Yeah, guess what? Nigga gonna try you, bro. If they catch you in the opening, yeah. nigga run it down on you. Man, nigga, Cause nigga wants some. <laughs> we in the we in the air with nigga wants some clout. Man, man the big artist. Man, out and all that. Man, the big artist call me. Hey, man, take me off your song, man. I, I can't even. I can't yeah, stop that shit no change, more. You can take out everything once you snitch. <laughs> that shit crazy. There's a few niggas going on like that too right now in the real yeah. industry. <laughs> niggas are calling like, bro, that shit over with, bro. We would not put this one out, bro. It, it, it's so crazy. Like one of the one they just put out, he played a song in the club. Bro. I swear, I seen the whole club as soon as the song come out. They used to be turned to it. The whole club looking like shit. Bro. Y'all turn. He only hit the same no more. Like, like he ain't tell on me. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I'm listening. I'm listening to him. Hell, that shit don't hit the same no more. Can you rap? How you rapping? And this shit ain't you no more. It definitely ain't you, bro. So you gotta, you gotta watch it. You got to watch your step, bro. <laughs> and you know what? And that go back to niggas being comfortable in their own skin and built for a situation. I just finna say something like that. Don't put no nigga in no position. You know he ain't built for. Right. Also, too, though, like I said, shout out to, like, shout out to my nigga. I, like I said, my nigga Troy Abbey saying the realest shit. Sometimes, bro. The just started, too. They the, tr- the streets be a myth. Yeah, and niggas don't want to hear that shit. Out, the streets man. be a myth a lot. That so, shit for like instance, bro, different. I'm going to work. I'm a working ass nigga. I'll pick you up knowing you hustle. And you got the pistol on you, the gun, and all that, bro. And we get pulled over, bro. You supposed to be like, bro, little homie ain't even know I was on that type of time, bro. But we all got to sit here and all that. You making me make a decision that if I got to tell on you or not? Yeah. You lame as fuck. I got home. a friend just like that though. He gonna go on to keep it a book with you. Don't, don't put him in no situations. He don't. <laughs> he don't want to do no so fifteen like, years so for you. Good, yeah. So look, I'm about to go do a dub because you you yeah, fucking my you got this, you, you had to bring me, right? you had the thirty on you. Yeah, you ain't tell me no that. I'm working, nigga. I'm going to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now you, that's why that street shit sometimes be a myth. <laughs> Bro, now we all on that. some bullshit. We all in the car. We go to drill some shit. That's that a whole different, different situation. Or we all hanging around some shit, knowing that they can go down. They can go down. Shit get wrong. Then I'm mean, guess what? I got to ride with that shit. But guess what though? That's why you got to know your 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 niggas because. He might not, he just like, he like, he like being around ABK. He like to see y'all niggas with the chains and all that shit. But he really was a video game nigga. He, yeah. Y'all should have found out if he played video games or he was with the street. Was he Grand Theft Auto for, cause it, like we live in real life Grand Theft Auto right now. These okay. little niggas not bullshit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So is he real life Grand Theft Auto or he's a video game? You get what I'm saying? So you had to figure that out sometimes cause you can put a nigga in a situation and he ain't built for that situation. Not all our lives depend on this nigga who been playing the game all day. Is he gonna say, "Yeah, I'm down," or "No, nah, that was bro, bro, bro." You and that bitch sweat. What sweating. you say you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Then you look you back, you be like, "I really can't blame him." <laughs> Your bro told me he played the game. Why the hell I got him with me? So. I got him with me. Most people don't look at it like that. We should we should just have that nigga pulling up playing the game when the man was playing the game. I should not just have the shit in the car with him while I'm in the car with him. It's crazy because we got something like that. He just pull up, play the game. He leave, you know exactly. He know his part. He know his his part. part. He He love y'all niggas. He get the money and go home. But he know his part. I'm pull up, fuck them up, the boy playing the game. But y'all love him too because y'all know what it is. He ain't putting on, acting like he do this. That's why I say it's cool to be any nigga who comfortable with being them is the best niggas to have around. Cause yeah. you don't got to be with me when I'm on demon time or on this fuck shit. But when I'm in my space, when I'm cool, I may be the toughest nigga in the city. Niggas scared of me or whatever, but you really my best friend. Cause you play, cause when, when I ain't on that, I want to just come and be cool. I know I come and chill with you. We gonna play the game, laugh, kick right. it. I ain't got to worry about looking. I really could chill with you. Right. And well, you, you take you. his life away from him. Cause but y'all if, know he a video game nigga. You hop in and you got a book bag with 20 bricks in this bitch. You or you got five, him. you got two bricks in this motherfucker and a pistol. And y'all ride at home and this motherfucker, all he been doing, y'all know all he do is come and pull up, play the video game. Yep. You know this your shit. shit. Go but you sitting in the car talking about some, yeah, home gonna stick to the strip. No, home not. Home about to tell it. Man, look, man, I played the video game with home and I did not know he had to work. He said, don't. Yeah. Let me out. Let me out. No. What he said, that's the really shit I'm boys Man, he was not ready to go spend with them niggas. What he did? Don't. Don't. Let me, let me out. Me out.
That was a hidden message in that shit too. Niggas ain't Word, cats, bro, he nigga like, one built, I've been fucked with y'all. I love y'all niggas a doubt. Yeah, I'm tight and I want to do this. He went and got that weak ass 357. His dad <laughs> let him know, boy. You, you ain't shit. on that. He said, Doe, let me out. Doe, let me out. out. I'm good for niggas. Because that shit would have went down. He was feeling in his body that. Man, these boys. They about to go kill these niggas. four niggas in the front. They ain't bullshit, nigga. They about to. The first time we see nigga who shot my brother, this shit going up. And, a, and, and if I'm around, I'm me out. Yeah. And what Doe had to do? Doe had to respect it. Let him out. Let him out the whip. The realest, one of the realest scenes ever. A nigga knew he wasn't built for that situation. What he said, yeah, Doe, let me out. Let me out, Doe. More niggas just sit in that shit. And go through it to the Try whole to, time. Hoping they, hope they don't get Yeah, hoping they don't. They be in the back seat grinding that shit. Instead of telling niggas like, bro, I'm shoot this nigga tonight. I don't want to. But I got to. These niggas might not hang with me no more. And sometimes so your friend can be poisoned let you hell. out. Say it again. Your friend can be poisoned in hell. Yeah. Like, they might be wanting to do all this shit. You know you ain't on it. Like, you want some money. They want to be tough 24 so You know, I feel like you should have a nigga around you like that. Especially when your name get a little bigger. Because one fall move and you big, going to fuck up everything. Yeah. And then what Shade Room play a part at, you fuck up, they going to blow it up. It just going to be all over. And then that's a bad look on right. your group. Like, and then all your friends. Like, bro, friends, I was like, bro, like, at the end of the like day, up. like, Nigga, what's that? Probably ain't mean the shit he said. He probably wouldn't really say that shit. He probably didn't want to go to the internet. But once you go to the internet and put that shit on the internet, now the whole world see yeah, it. Guess what? Everybody gonna blow it up. Than. Now you got 500,000 500, motherfuckers looking at it and taking it however they want to take it. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Under that, undefeated. And then they be undefeated. editing this shit, making it sound a different way. Yeah, because once I get that's I'm going to put my own spin on it. That edit shit you is different. When I get, I'm gonna spin yeah, that bitch how I want to spin it. Oh. Nigga, edit your shit. Had you looking like you was on yeah. straight bullshit today? Why? Well, little bro got on my podcast, boy. He said he fuck with Fuji and all them niggas. <laughs> nigga been on spent that bitch. And he like, hell no, nah, I pay homage to that nigga. I get that nigga bigger. Da, da, da. But nigga gonna get it. Like hell no, nah. they yeah, take yeah. they gonna take that one part where I just said you ain't fuck with him. Yeah, a nigga gonna run, run with it. it. Yeah. <laughs> can't wait to run. All with the shade rule. Yeah, such but he don't fuck with such. How he even said like that. But that's what a nigga do with these interviews now, bro. Nigga, take what they want out of it and blow it out of proportion. And now you got some shit going on that, oh, oh, but we ain't wanted to go there. We ain't know he's going to die. Well, what y'all thought was going to happen when you put up that, what's the name, ain't fuck with such and such. And y'all took that little snippet and ran with it. Mm-hmm. Now they don't fuck with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you, I, I want to get that, 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 that talk out because certain situations, niggas don't have to be in the situation they in. Mm-hmm. And it's happening now, I know a lot some little niggas right now where I'm from, nigga. That shit Grand Theft Auto. Niggas ready, they don't even want no money, they just wanna drill some shit. Yeah, so y'all ever did. heard some niggas, y'all ever heard niggas be on the phone and argue and say, Hey bro, where you live at, bro? And nigga tell you where you live at just so y'all can have a real life shit. That's how them little niggas is at where I'm from right now. Right, just pull up. So a nigga go ahead and do crazy. it. Go ahead and have a shootout. We're gonna see who make it out this shit. <laughs> I that said, shit damn, is nigga don't want no money, away. nigga don't want to trap, nigga want to nah, but talk about drilling some shit. Oh, we gotta go knock the nigga ass off. That nigga, that shit real life grand theft auto where I'm from right now, bro. And that shit crazy, bro. Shit sad, bro. That shit crazy, oh, yeah. bro. That shit, that shit crazy. Sad, son. So I gotta ask you, my boy, what's your motivation, man? What keeps you motivated? My mama, my grandma, my grandma just passed. Well, man, I'm rest in peace. RIP, grandma. For sure, for sure. My granddad, like them three, and my brother. So that shit just made me go harder, knowing that all the shit my mom did, I found <coughs> a way I can pay her back. Right. Sport probably wasn't gonna work, so I got something on good that I know for sure we keep on standing with this shit. Something gonna come out of it. Right, right, right. So, that basically them and just seeing like what it can do. Oh, and wow. him too. Like, this nigga tripping. He putting they doing shit out of the hard work that I done put in. Right. So just them being that real to got them help me knowing they ain't have to do none of this shit they doing. Mm-hmm. They ain't have to do set this up, set anything up we do, they ain't have to do none of that shit. Just seeing that they really behind me and believe me. Yeah. That shit that made me want to go even harder knowing that like shit, we gonna take some air here, but shit, I'm gonna fall back on them. I know they gonna pick me up every time I fall. Right. Mm-hmm. So just saying that type of shit. That's all right, bro. What about you, my boy? Shit. Sibling, I got five brothers, one sister. I ain't on the second older, but shit, like, I know shit, parent, like, like shit, we ain't gonna have them forever, so shit, somebody gotta be the breadwinner, so yeah. shit, I'm trying to make everything him, so we still eat, that's about it. Like, just that's watching, right. seeing them see me, like, shit, yeah, I'm that's doing right. some positive shit, so hopefully they'll do some positive behind it too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you showing you open the door for different lanes like mm. rap working this that dog you showing so many different outlets Word. to let them know like damn you don't even even if it don't do nothing that you did just showing that I don't I'm a I'm a person of many different lanes just show like oh it's opportunity to do whatever bro yeah. 
that little shit you exemplifying to your your siblings and people around, bro, that shit opens a window to a lot, bro. No matter how mother, how you may look at it or think like, yeah, I do this. It don't always got to be they following them steps of what you're doing. It's just showing, like, you don't always got to follow what the world say you can do. And you can still live and chill and be cool and look that nigga fuck with me and I do this. You know how people who, you know how many niggas walk around and be scared to go get a job and work because they think they ain't working, bro. All my name like, bro, you don't got a job, you working, bro? What the hell? But you stupid as hell, nigga, I'm gonna get some money. Like, what? I don't lie, like, one of the crazy things nobody don't know, like, nigga got real life, like, the nigga work with medicine, like, I work with medicine too, like. Okay. Like, pharmaceutical world, I'm in that shit too, like. Oh, I say I'm hustling for real. Dude, like, yeah. I need y'all grab. They might just see me today, be like, "Man, that nigga do nah." But I don't just post everything I do. Like, cause yeah. he ain't meant for everybody to know yeah, what you have exactly, going on. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. That's tough. Hey, guess what, man? Stop putting your business out there, cause I feel like nigga. I ain't gonna lie, I be feeling like nigga be praying on a nigga dog yeah, yeah. in a in a tongue of powerful motherfuckers joint. Nigga powerful be shit. Powerful shit. Nigga be like, man, I hate them niggas, man. I don't want to see them niggas win. I used to do that shit a lot. I <laughs> if I text a celebrity, they text back with some feedback on my music, I gotta post it. That's how yeah. it used to be. And yeah. then as I got grow it, I be like, they don't need to see this shit. Like, they don't need to see we working. Yeah. Right. They gonna they gonna finally see it when yeah. the time. They ain't gotta put long shit in their face. You're all working. The time. Long as you know you're working. For sure. so what's, what's, some shit, so what's some shit you think you need to work on with your craft? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Performing <laughs> and making more songs in the studio. Making more songs and coming in? up with different, different type of sounds and shit. Like, don't be all one lane type of like. Step out my comfort zone, and shit. Get comfortable with new shit. Like, when so, what's your pain music? You doing? So, I know you said ride away. So, what's your pain music? Is you you rapping about your pain or you harmonizing and damn then you get a little melodic and do your little singing and shit really on the track? All that type of shit. Yeah. Like, oh, so you doing? doing all, oh, okay. I gotta hear you. You got shit with yeah. your shit at. Where your music yeah, at? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got this one right here. They don't call Swear to God. I feel like they gonna. This some hard ass shit. I feel like you gonna feel Ed Boy in it. I need to hold up to the mic. No problem. What's it called? Swear to God. Swear to God. You might well perform the motherfucker. What are you talking about? Like? We're rapping this shit. I'm going with the same one from the start. I'm trying to make it more up in my part. I'm trying to make that shit let me shine. I'm going to make it more up in my part. That's what I see. I'm coming out of the city. I'm going to make it more up in my part. I feel like they were just gonna stand out. Right. Yeah. Right. Even though the favorite. Right the visuals and all that for it? Nah, I ain't got no video. Like, Jay made oh, it last week. Oh, like, the second verse hit so different, Jay. Yeah. All right. the shit in there, Jay. Real life shit. Like, shit I definitely done been through. So, so you don't really so the music that you got the, so you about to come out and start putting shit out you ain't even got shit out Man, we, really we probably finna pull out old shit for old we shit. Pull out i got new shit for like three four years like ago. Cause like like oh. we said like we well, from like okay yeah. they heard it but we got to get the shit out here like he got yeah. shit that still hard as hell well, yeah, the whole world ain't heard it. So we gotta pull shit out, we we shit out from different parts yeah we definitely yeah hell yeah we got some shit like like i'm talking about some be a full promo it. run right. of everything. I'm talking about BT right. Jams, all that shit. every platform in Atlanta, all that. We got a whole little shit where it coming. You could catch all of them in the running. And I'm trying to network with more artists out here too. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, I know Crank, Lil Dairy, all of them. Like I got some of them on the way too. Yeah. Mm. So just getting some of their fan base on mine. That shit gonna be. That's good. what that shit about. Yeah. Bro. Networking. networking. Yeah, networking. that's all it's about. It's about. Oh, yeah. And investing in yourself. That little shit, like, bro, you go. Spend it. Don't don't necessarily think about what you spend. It's like what gonna come from it, mm -hmm. especially with that ethic, that work ethic you got, bro. That shit gonna all make sense. Go for everybody, know, man. Y'all tap in with us, man. We got the hell. We got the dope ass packages. Mm -hmm. You should shit all type of places. I'm talking about every really? platform, whatever you could think of. I'm talking about. I'm talking about we got. Is it fit? Is it say Mike, cheese? Dirty glove bastard. Dirty glove right, bastard. Prog support. Yeah. This bit. The, it's a whole run. Then videos, beats, and all that shit. Where you can get put on. I feel, all of that. I feel like when. 
when my music hit the right person, yeah, this shit gonna be way bigger. Well, no, nah, it is. And that's, and that's what it takes. Take. So when you put it that into that, take, now man. you gotta think. Everybody who tune, you got certain people who go and look, who don't go out, they might not be on you. They saying watch BT jams, MT jams all day. Because they wanna see videos or do this, or they gonna go look at, they a big, um, big facts or even if I probably I'm gonna watch all the episodes and any the hours they see and it's like damn mm -hmm. you got to tap into all and be on all these platforms so you ain't just in one lane like they got to see you across the board and when they see you on one then they see you on another Did they see you on three or four spaces that they fuck with mm -hmm. oh he doing something yeah. like when you go on a media or a, this type of a press run when you come and do it you gotta be leaving this bitch to go do another one within the next day or so or a performance like it got to be like bad, that bad so now they seeing shit. like hold on Oh, he working, mm -hmm. and he around the Atlanta. There's certain joints in Atlanta you got to be touching with what you're working with. Like, if it ain't us, it's Dirty Glove, Progress Support, Big Facts. It's certain shits that you go, and we're going to make sure, and we, if y'all on that, like, niggas could put you on to certain motherfuckers mm -hmm. to do that. Like, that shit ain't nothing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But them the shit you got to be doing. Like, I don't give a fuck. What, even if it comes, you only got 50 views. You did it though, like you have to do them shit. You feel me? That's just a part of New Music Mondays, like y'all did that. That shit is necessary. So now when y'all go back to that motherfucker, y'all gonna be gonna be sharp. You know what I'm saying? You know how to hold that mic back that that time. Yeah, that's hard though. That's hard. I definitely hold the one though, cause that one. Yeah, that wasn't you. You know that wasn't you. That's all. It's a learning experience. That should be tight to break the ice, bro. Like you got to go, and now you see. But now you know what you need to work on. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's the other shit, like you know what I'm saying. Like you ain't, you know it ain't shit. The music, yeah. you know, it's just like more. You just had a bad, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so they definitely you know. fuck with the music. They definitely with the performance. Yeah. I'm but I told them, like when you doing shit like that, you got to sell yourself. Cause being an artist, the whole thing about it, you got to sell yourself. Like right. you can't, you can rap all you want to, you ain't got the image. They ain't gonna look shit, at you no way. Like it's plenty of niggas rap. It's plenty of niggas that can't rap that got an image that don't took off. You know what I'm saying? That's real took shit. Off. That's real shit. That's about the real shit you can say. There's no, plenty of niggas that can't rap, so it took off because they the portraying the, the nigga image. You know what I'm saying? So look, man, what we do, man, we're gonna let you sign yourself out, man. Tell them your IG where they can find your yeah. music at. Y'all yeah. gonna add me on ABK, JT on Instagram. All my music in my bio. I got some cards too. Okay. I definitely gotta get y'all a few cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jetty get, get my face around too. So. Mm -hmm. That's hard. That's hard. I can tell what about you, you bro? What's up? Man, Lil Blow, man, you can add me on Instagram. Look, fuck my dog, my dog got Lil dogs Blow, everything. Underscore. <laughs> I fuck with Fat Nest, man, y'all yeah, family, my man. Dog, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, bro, yeah. I appreciate y'all for having me on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, you yeah. came when she told me. We already knew, of course, Lil Blow and Sinead, but she, yeah. anybody she bring, it's family. Anything connected to that woman, bro, it's yeah. family. Oh, she, she, got, she got that. Yeah, that's she got that drive. I told, I always tell her every time I see her, she going to be the next Puff Daddy or she going to be P. You yeah. see, man, she yeah, got it. It definitely helped me because I know plenty of times I've been like, man, fuck the music. <laughs> Especially, like, if I don't know, I call and she gonna got that. I'm like, Snape, man, we need to try to get them on this and this. Yeah. Hold on, I know somebody I'm finna call, though. I got it. Like, yeah. shit, she, she knows she everybody. Me, she me, me and Snape don't click. Like, like basically, like, me and how me and Snape got there, got close. Like, basically, like, passed out to her on some shit. And, like, me and Snape just. She stayed silent with me, like yeah, she, you know what I'm saying. She believed in me, got yeah. that. So like, she, she always person. gonna fuck with her. She silent. Yeah. From the first time I met her, she was already fucking with me. Shout out to Shanae, look at that. You got a whole little set yourself. Man. <laughs> we came look in the studio. Yeah. Put her ass on the couch. Yeah, <laughs> real, <laughs> real. So y'all already know, man. It's Fat Nasty Podcast, man. That's I'm right. for the Belly Game Boys. Let me put my belly on your butt, you heard? And we signing out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>